Hello, very good morning to you. Hola. Uh, hello, how are you doing? Welcome on this fabulous Saturday morning. I uh, arrived at work and it's not raining for once. <laughs> a bit like yesterday. And I'm with a fabulous designer who I know you're going to really enjoy all of her work today. You're going to have the chance to win some of her work today as well. She is the fabulous Rachel. Hello. Well, good morning, Fee. It's first, lovely, lovely to meet you at last. First time we've been together. Absolutely wonderful. It's, I'm it's been a frantic morning, it. hasn't it? Um, it has. <laughs> Lots of busy, busy scheduling, getting things ready for the show, but it's going to be a lovely show. And I've got lots of things to show you today exactly lots of beautiful things and indeed we're going to have an ongoing quiz as well we're going to have questions after each kit and uh, after each kit you could actually win some of the jewelry uh, that rachel's made for each of the three brand new kits today we'll select a few key pieces and that's exactly what you could win uh, uh, if you answer the questions right so have your text ready um, be ready to pounce on the free phone number for each of the kits got great price points for you and we'll be sharing uh, some of uh, rachel's designs and she'll be demonstrating for us live on the show as well we've got lots of gold facts it's called the gold rush show so there's some gold reductions on the wire bundles uh, we've got the uh, quiz throughout and then the last question of the quiz again uh, we're gonna choose some key pieces for you to win okay, so it's exciting, all gonna be a nice surprise gonna be lots of nice surprises <laughs> and some scoops arriving in the post so uh, stay watching, just make sure you've got the phone ready. And we're going to start with the early bird um, and uh, I'll get the ball rolling on. We're going to have a bit of a fun quiz as well and facts about our goals. It's called Gold Rush. And yes, of course, Kim, you must keep reminding me what's coming up because there's just so much in the show. I'm going to forget. I've got hiccups of the excitement. <laughs> Look, this is Gorgini and thank heavens for Adam's all I can say. Came to my rescue. You are the, you are the Batman of jewellery maker, our hero. He answered the back call. The signal was given and he's there. Look at what he's brought with him. <gasps> How gorgeous is that, Rachel? I actually would pay for that strand. Oh, really it's not that drastic. Would, I would, I would. It's, um, it is gorgeous. And to work with a gemstone of, of that quality, um, oh, the things I could make with it. I know, my oh. darling. We've got it. <laughs> I'm well, not going to be able tell to you what, let's see if we can squirrel one for you because you're Please. such a hard worker. <laughs> you're so fabulous. Isn't that beautiful? Sky blue topaz. Now, this is fantastic because not only is March his uh, birthstone, but we can attribute the blue topaz as well to obviously topaz November's. So we're right on the mark mm. there for going forward in the autumn season. That is just Gorgini. And as Rachel said, I die and kill for that. <laughs> Drastic, but it's true. I know. Do you like the gold nails? It's the gold rush show, Kim. <laughs> It's all thought about, my darling. It's not random. <laughs> and oh, I'm cackling like a witch already. It's only nine o'clock. <laughs> uh, we've got this fantastic amethyst strand. Now, these are from our Gems of Distinction. So, of course, we've seen behind the scenes with Carol and Chloe. It was amazing they ever came back to us. Uh, this beautiful luxury amethyst, which goes so beautifully mm. with the first kit. Because we've got a bit of amethyst in that first kit. Very excited. Um, and do you know what else I would like for you to do today? Later on, we're going to have a Q&A section with Rachel. So if you can send in your texts as well. Uh, just any questions that you want to ask Rachel, 6077. We're going to have, we're going to bombard her literally in a nice way. Uh, just take a section of the show later on and we're just going to have all those questions ready to ask you and draw on your talents Thank and your expertise. You. Is that all right? I hope I can do my best to answer them. I'll do my very best. Well, there you go. No nasty questions. Please. If we don't know, we'll try and find out. It's always the way. Yeah. You can only do that, can't yeah. we? And also, we've got two bundles that we're going to give uh, Rachel as the challenge. Am I right? Yeah, that's what you wanted me to. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll present those, give them to Rachel, but we'll launch them later in the show. Should we do the early bird first? Let's get the roll, uh, this day rocking and a rolling. I mean, just what could be more heavenly with those two high-end strands and these pearls? These pearls are good genie, Rach. I'm going to work with those for you if I can, actually, this can. morning. You can have okay. anything you want, my darling. We do lots and lots of pearl pieces. Um, Fantastic. That's what I like to hear. We're going to give these to Rachel to work with as well. I mean, just look at the heaven that can be created with the gemstones on today's show. And all the gold. Gold. Look at the size of these pearls. I think these are the biggest pearls I've seen on Jewelry Maker in terms of... In terms of uniformity of shape, I appreciate that are absolutely spherically right, uh, perfect, I should say. But then, you know, isn't that the charm of a natural pearl? Because they take years to grow, you know, they're not always doing it to, to, to perfection. They're very rare if they get to be that spherical, perfect roundness. And you've still got, you've still got all the beautiful pearlescence. You've still got, look at the, over the orient there. From the word orient meaning rising of the sun. Look at the pinks. 
grows. Roughly, yeah. Yes, yes on, on average, because the GIA see the average for a good pearl is like four or five millimeters. Yes. Um, that's but when you get is, big seven, eight, nine, ten, I mean, that's years, mm. isn't it, in the growth? Yes, a decade in the, in the, in the making. In the making yes. And you think, well, I've got to get a whole string of those. I've got to get maybe 40 on a string. And then, you know, you think of worldwide them. demand and colour so, matching, of yes. course, and blemish free, you know, mm. and there's just so many factors in there. And they're just stunning. This is going to be a tremendous offer, but they're going to go like hotcakes. They're already on the phone. The early birds, the regular jewellery makers are there, ready to pounce panther-like and take advantage of the offers on today's show. Now, Rachel is going to be working with these throughout the day as well. So don't forget, if you want to see those creations, emulate those creations, you need to get these pearls. If you want to be making your bridal jewellery, if you want to be making your bracelets and your necklaces, um, whether you're placing them in your hair combs, whether you're just making something traditional or more modern with the layering with all your different textures, then please don't miss out that they are brand new today. Let's put them up to the neckline, Adam, because they are just sumptuous. I mean, they really are as round as round can be. Okay, they've got the official Baroque title, but seriously, just look at those. Mm -hmm. They're gorgeous. Just string them up as they are. I know. But then combine them with silver or gold wire or and other exactly. gemstones. Just done it, the topaz, mm. the mm. amethyst, yes. just mm. the gold findings we've got today. Just going to go with everything. So beautiful. You will never wear the plastic again. You'll be making your own. You'll be commissioned to make your own. So make sure it doesn't end with just one strand because if you're going to make the necklace, you'll want the earrings and the brace to match. So get two strands. It's the early bird. It's going to be special. We want it to be special for you today. We want to open up that basket because there's the topaz, the amethyst, the bundles, the wire reductions, because of course we've got our, our established wire worker here, the fabulous Rachel, with all the inspirational designs to show with us. She spent hours on that dragonfly she's wearing. Um, days, weeks, months, it took forever. Um, well, I'm exaggerating a little, uh, aren't I? Four hours. Four hours. Four hours, <laughs> including the weaving of the, um, the ribbon, which we'll talk which about. Which you've got to see, which you've got to see. So, <laughs> Tina will be jealous, she'll be ringing up saying, make me one. <laughs> uh, four hours, yeah, so we, we'll be experiencing all of the wonderful work still to come. But please, these are 10 millimeter. The nacer layers, you see, as Rachel quite rightly said, about a millimeter a year, you're actually thickening those nacer layers. The thicker those nacer layers of the calcium carbonate become, the more valuable the pearl. The more rounder and spherically perfect that pearl, the more valuable the pearl. The more blemish free that pearl, the more uniformly those pearls match, the more valuable that pearl set. And yes, I'm not going to deny on our close up, we can see the little layering marks, as it were, like the rings of a tree. But when you actually look at them uniformly, do you even notice that? It's negligible, isn't it? Yeah, it's when it's in your jewellery, do you even take any notice of that? Look at that orient. Look at those pinks and those blues. Again, the orient is, is, is an earmark of the quality of the pearls. You know, that rainbow of colour. I would literally just restrand that and put a toggle on it. Exactly. I'd definitely make a bracelet because I've already got a set of pearls, uh, you know, that, for, for that traditional princess length necklace. Can you see the pinks there and the purples, you know, over the crest of the wave? Just delicious. How beautiful are those pearls? And they're so big. I mean, even if you just think, well, I could just wire out one. You know, we've seen the rings that Rachel does um, on a ring. We've got enough for a bracelet, you know, an ample bracelet and still two thirds of the strand remaining. Because if it had a toggle on there or a silver chain, I mean, just like how gorgeous that is. How beautiful that looks. They're very exclusive. They're very limited and they're already going like hotcakes. Oh, God, genie. 12.95, that's ridiculous, you naughty kitty. But she doesn't mind this way, the whole day's gonna go today, so you've gotta be dialing ASAP. Look at this. I know, she's a cheeky little late show producer. She thinks she's in, she's in some kind of price, price slash heaven. They haven't been officially price slashed, but that's the kind of mentality she has. I mean, just look at that. Don't die for them, just dial for them later. Uh, beautiful, aren't they? The white quartz drops, the heavenly topaz to come, 12.95. It's ridiculous for those fantastic pearls. Get to, this is why I said, have we got good availability, my darling? I know it's limited, but still a few more left yet. A few of you waiting on the phone line, it's a 23 second wait, it's a free phone number. Please, 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 please do not miss out. Please make sure you're dialing early. Please make sure you're already on that phone. We'll be talking about gold as a noble, precious metal. We'll be talking about its breathtaking reflection of light. Put your gold findings with these beautiful pearls. 
put those gorgeous, precious, noble metal that's so resistant to corrosion and tarnishing with these fantastic pearls. And you have got a seductive, gleaming, beautiful piece of jewellery to last a lifetime. Look at these. Ah, oh, bundelicious beautifulness coming your way in a moment. Please hold the line. It's first come, first serve. Well done, you for getting up so early. You are in for a treat of a show. So exciting. I don't know how I'm going to fit it all in, Adam. I'm bursting at the seams of exciting Ooh. things to do. I know. I know. All righty, now. The theme of today's show is Gold Rush, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, what Rachel's gonna be working with. We're actually gonna launch it a little bit later in the show. Um, so, and then we're gonna start our quiz competition as well. So let me just show you what I'm gonna give Rachel because it is fantastic. And we are sticking with the gold theme. So I'll just get uh, bits and bats out. I've got a rose gold bundle and a yellow gold bundle, okay? So we, we've got to, to, to mix and match it here because we are talking gold and they are coming up later on in the show, the show as well. So this is the first bundle and it comprises of eye pins, longer and shorter, um, the beautiful 12 brush copper gold beads, the gold wire, um, the actual gold plated silver crimp beads and this beautiful heavy link um, gold plated chain. Now, can we just, have you got the dynamics or will we be explaining that later? Is this, we'll explain it all later. So as you can see from the gold here, you know, a precious noble metal um, has to literally be resistant to corrosion and tarnishing. That's your platinum, your silver and your gold. And you know, the gold, it's that seductive gleam, renowned for its warmth that gives it its charm. I mean, when you try on a jewelry piece, you feel not only the gem texture and weight, but you feel the texture of that gold, the feeling of that gold against your skin. So this is this one bundle we're gonna give uh, Rachel. And then we've got the seductive, beautiful warmth and the gleam, and they alloy the gold with copper in this, um, in this account uh, with, to give it the rosy pinkiness. Now you've got a lovely length of chain here as well, nine inch chain. You've got some copper rose gold coloured beads as well of various shapes and sizes. You've got bead caps and toggles and you've actually got some beautiful uh, rose druzy quartz as well. So have we got a slide for that Tommy? And if you look at that breathtaking reflection of light, if you look at the rich background that the rose gold can give you, it gives you that stable feel and a sense of luxury and importance and opulence in your jewellery, which is what we're celebrating tonight. I and mean, oh, today, rather, when you see Rachel's uh, gold wire creations, they do have that seductive warmth. They do have that wonderful ember of firelight, you know, in terms of the gold and the richness. And they do have that feeling of opulence and wealth, which is what we're celebrating in the show today. But it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. So uh, this is what I'm going to give Rachel with those fantastic Yay. pearls. Thank you. Yeah. And then I'm going to give you a quiz question. Yeah. Let's That's just take the pearls over to see our Rach. See how she's doing. Oh, if I can get by. <laughs> there we go. Do you want me to help? Me? So there you go. There's your pearls, Rachel. Have Thank you got all the findings? I have. I've got the rose gold in one because yep. um, I'm still Obviously. thinking about what to do. Okay. They're beautiful. There's a lovely druzy in there. Isn't it? I don't there? know whether that slipped. Was that slipped? No, no, that's in there, darling. Yeah, that's in um, there. That's absolutely You've got your gold go plated, the... rose gold plated brass chain and all those extra to findings and the, you know, the coated beads there as well. Beautiful shapes and um, the tone, the pinky tone. So of that um, rose gold, oh, it's beautiful. And you can team it with some copper um, uh, beads and findings as well, but it's so blush pink. You, the rose quartz with that, um, and then also you bring it back to the lapis lazuli and the, the stronger colours, the greens and the azures that go so well with this colour. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, so to have rose gold findings, that's, that's fun. I haven't worked with those before. Fantastic. And we've um, got the yellow as well, because yeah, you've so got go, bundles yellow, of wire. One. We're going to do some reductions <laughs> on wire later on, because of course it's Rachel, isn't it? We've got to do that. Um, so, And you've got lots to show us as well, well when we're talking about the gauges. With the findings, I mean, they're also in a jumble a little bit in That's in right, it's a sign here. of a, of a, of a hearty worker, yes. this is. And what progress. I've done is I've made some organza flowers out of some of the bags that are in one of the kits yeah. and what I'm going to do is combine these, these are incredible. there's pearls in, in two of the kits so there's the different size pearls which is lovely and along with this strand I'm going to try and create some gold and pearl um, jewellery and um, tiaras because we sell some lovely tiaras on the on the website pack of five I think for 
Yes. Just amazing. Yeah. Um, price the price of the fifty or something. Yes, it's just um, ridiculous. So isn't if it? I, and I'm gonna make something up with these organza flowers that I've made. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a butterfly uh, mm. in one of the kits using organza and it doesn't take too much to then develop it into the, one of these flowers. So don't worry that you won't be able to make one of these because hopefully you'll be able to make one of these by the end of the show because I'll show how to make the butterfly and it's ever so similar to the making the flowers up. So that should be fine. Fantastic, right. fantastic. And three great kits. Don't forget as well, uh, don't forget those pearls, which I know Rachel's going to be working with. They're fantastic, aren't they? Look at the quality of them. They're so beautiful, I'm aren't they? I'm going to team this up with <gasps> I've started making a bracelet, so mm -hmm. I'm going to put all the different sizes Against of pearls the gold. It's just so in these sumptuous. little spaces. Um, and, it just uh, looks like you've raided, you've, uh, <laughs> sorry, you've raided Fort Knox over just, here I'm, with I'm, all the gold. <laughs> Yes. You raided Fort Knox. <laughs> it's such a lovely warm um, colour and the, the wire is such a lovely sort of warm buttery gold yeah. colour. I'm just spreading these out. Can you see how I've framed the one millimetre wire and you pull them out, pull them out and then you strengthen these frames with the, the 0.6 and then I'm weaving lots and lots of different gemstones into there Fantastic. to make a bangle. Can't wait to see. So Rachel, we shall join you later, my darling. <laughs> Let's have a quiz question. I'm going to launch a three-strand bundle as well. Now, Rachel, you'll know this. You've got three children, my darling. You, know, you don't look old enough, but you have. <laughs> yeah. She says, what is the, what, here's question number one. This is just for fun, but when we get to the 10th question, that's the prize when you have to text in. Um, what is the name of the band that sang the 1983 smash hit, Gold? Always believe in your soul. You've got the power to know you're indestructible. Always believe in you are gold. All right, is that too early? Thank you, Adam, for that back, beautiful backing. <laughs> Drown me out, that's all I ask. So, if you can name the band, it's just for fun, this one, it'll get our gold quiz up and running. And don't forget, send in your texts for our Q&A with Rachel later on in the show, 60777, and we're going to have a whole Q&A section with our Rachel. So any wire work issues, yeah? Yes, indeed. Now let's get our three-strand pack launched. Pearl and green agate. Oh, oh, oh. And we'll talk more gold and that unique value that it can give your jewellery. And also I'll be talking later on and explain the difference between vermeil, uh, plated gold, uh, gold flash. So we've got a better understanding of that when we're buying as well. Now, we've got pearls and these greens with the golds. Actually, this is perfect because it is the Irish flag. Do no more other than get these with your gold, green, white and gold. There we go, the Emerald Isle, ready to happen. Uh, you've got your green potato pearls, your smaller Baroque white pearls, and your beautiful banded green um, agate there. Delicious. Now, we've already had the early bird, but we want to absolutely bombard today's show with smatterings of gorgininess. Yeah, look at this. Absolutely incredible. Beautiful, rich, dark, almost like a grass green. Your traditional ivy, right, ivy white, um, ivory, if I can speak, ivory white pearls. And then the wonderful, wonderful variation of seeing all the banding in the actual agate itself. So three gorgeous strands. We don't measure the pearls in terms of a carat weight because as Rachel and I were talking earlier, it's an organic gem. They usually are measured in their size and their perfection and spherical roundness. But the white pearls, just for your own information, are six to, six to seven millimeters on average. And uh, the same for both of those actually. And then my beautiful banded agates are six millimeter as well. So I'm thinking of the rich gold allure of the findings that, you know, we've got a wonderful mega, what is it, 160 piece, 162-piece gold-plated silver findings pack. That is, you will not want to miss that, okay? Talk about value for money, but low in stock, but top-end value. And if you think about some of the pieces that Rachel's working with today, just look at how delicious they look with these strands. Look how it can give you that lovely opulence, you know, that the shiny luster, you know, the beauty of your reflection of light with the reflection of gems it's very seductive when you add those goals and those copper rose goals those findings and that's what we want to be able to do with our gems it's the texture of the gems the look of the gems but it's also you know the additional weight of the precious metal that you're adding to the beautiful gemstones now 
this is almost like you, you, you buy in, you buy in one, and you're getting an extra two free. Uh, there's an incredible offer we've got coming up for you. So please, please, please make sure you pounce. Have that basket open, up and, and running and ready, and proceed to check out because nobody want to miss, want, nobody wants to miss out on today's offers because they're just so full and fast and coming at you every which way. Um, so IDGC03. Love those greens. They're very Christmassy, Derek. Oh, I said the C word. Sorry. Festive. Festive. They're very festive, Rachel. Yeah, seasonal. We've got to get prepared. <laughs> Heavens. You know, 12.95, we've got to get, you know, time just races. Where's September gone? We're in October almost. I know. I know. It's insane. I know. It is, isn't it? It's just insane. Where's the year going? So we need to get prepared. I mean, especially if you're, you know, taking your time on a beautiful established piece, like four hours to create a beautiful dragonfly or, or you know, an hour to do some very intricate work. So we need to, you know, pace ourselves. We're all busy. We've all got working lives. You know, we've all got children and, or we're just dashing about or, you know, even if you haven't, you've got a social life, Tommy, that you have to, you know, it's hard to fit it all in, love. So we need to pace ourselves. Three strand pack. You've got the genuine white pearls. Obviously, they're smaller than our big pearls that we gave Rachel. Obviously, we can see that but we've still got great value uh, do you know what I'd mix up those sizes Rachel no, I, that's what I'm doing today are actually, you and um, because we've got some small pearls in, yeah uh, well different have you been size rummaging pearls in, in all no in all the kits oh yes the, you did kits say that yeah we have different size pearls in, you can so rummage you we're know we're going to well I thought <laughs> I'm just going to concentrate on what we've got in the kits today because I I've exactly. just want to bring out those she's, she's got enough to do <laughs> <laughs> don't give me any more to do she says <laughs> I'm frazzled already at 12.95, yeah, we have got pearls in the kits later on as well. Mm. And we've had a text already. Someone's got the question right. There's no prizes for this. The last question, number 10, is the prize winner. So I will, that'll be later in the show and we'll have uh, questions after each of the kits because you will win some of the jewellery that uh, Rachel has created in those kits, which I'm very jealous mm. about. <laughs> we'll ask Rachel to pick some key like pieces. Um, <laughs> but the question uh, was, who sang? I won't sing it again because I'll put everybody off the breakfast. Uh, Spandau Valley says uh, Michelle in Dudley. She says, good morning. Looking forward to the demos and the inspiration. That's Rachel. Thank Rachel, you. if you've got a question as well. Uh, sorry, Michelle, sorry. If you've got a question for Rachel, please let us know. Uh, 6077 and uh, we'll, we'll actually Q&A. <laughs> Six zero. It'd be nice if it was related to wire work. Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's personal things you need to know about. <laughs> she might answer them. She might say, mind your own business. <laughs> I've got lots of, um, I've got some very exciting news, though, to say. Oh, yes, well. yes. Yeah. And we have got exciting news. More of Rachel is what we need in our lives. And that's exactly what we can have. So, uh, yes, she has got exciting news to tell. You remind me, because otherwise I'll forget to tell everybody. Get that three-strand pack while you can. IDG, um, IDGC03. Yeah. And we've got the first, is it right, of our new kits coming up next. I'm going to get it set up. We're going to talk about some goal facts and we're going to have a demonstration from Rachel. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. Come along and join in the fun on the Copper Clay Workshop with Jewelry Maker. On this one-day workshop, you will learn how to make your own jewellery using this stunning material. Texturing, shaping, cutting and stamping the clay. Also learn how to fire your clay at home using two different methods. Make pendants, earrings or charms for a bracelet. You'll learn how to do it all on Jewellery Maker's Copper Clay Workshop. Any tools or equipment you need on the day will be provided and the workshop also includes a buffet style lunch, refreshments, a tour of the studios and an opportunity to visit our Gemstone Museum. All for this fantastic price. To book your place, call the number on your screens and one of our help team members will take care of the rest. Make sure to phone early though to avoid disappointment. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. The team here at Jewelry Maker in Jaipur are constantly pushing the boundaries. And as I'm sure you can see, just by looking at these 10 strands here, really exciting brand new cuts, brand new shapes and sizes that will be on your screens in just a few weeks.
For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm using beading thread, but for this technique, use monofilament. Cut the required amount of monofilament thread. Thread on your bead, taking the tail through the center hole. Take the tail thread back through the hole to form a loop. Take the thread onto the underside of the bead and up through the loop. Take the thread over and through the new loop formed and pull through. Pull the thread tight and push the bead down onto the knot, enclosing it in the bead. You may need to adjust the bead in order for the wire to sit correctly. However, when using monofilament, that will be easier. Repeat these steps until you have the required amount. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Gold! Always believe in your soul. Yes, we've got gold and celebration time is our first new kit. Well, I think it's possibly my favourite. They're all beautiful. Um, but there is just something so sumptuous. I'm so jealous. I wish I was at home right now because if I could win just even just one of these pieces, um, then I would just be as giddy as a kipper. Um, this is what you can... S oh, well, anyway, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Um, this is the gorgeous, sumptuous kit. And, um, you know, Rachel was talking about how she was inspired. You know, there's almost one that's very sort of Egyptian in one of the pieces, but we'll talk more about that. They're just amazing. The earrings are to die for. Oh, but we'll talk more about that as well. Uh, let's see what you are getting, because it is bursting with gorgeousness. We've got these cherry, beautiful pearls. Yeah. Adam, my darling. We have got 90 carats of multicolored agate, and we've got the white cultured pearls as well. We've got 10 meters of the beautiful um, gold plated copper wire, 10 meters. And this is 0.6, 10 meters of that gold plated copper wire, 0.6. We've got yellow gold plated E coated round disc, a large one that is just sumptuous. That is almost four centimeters. I've never seen anything like that before. What's so beautiful is you've got the hole in the middle, but you've also got the threading through the top and this features in one of her, uh, Rachel's beautiful, beautiful designs. You've also got five beautiful uh, copper, they're almost like, I always think of cowbells when I see them, of the copper beads, 18 by 17. You've got 10 gold organza bags. You've got 10 meters of gold organza ribbon. You've got four ribbon cord ends to go with that organza ribbon in the sterling silver. You've got 50 meters of gold colored beading thread as well as your silver beading thread. You've got your gold elastic and your white elastic. You've got your purple and pink organza bags. You've got um, your findings as well, which are gold plated. Now, the wonderful thing about gold is the allure. Precious metals are intriguing. They're broken down into four categories. Allure, workability, durability, and rarity. The allure is its physical attributes. Actually, it's color, it's shiny luster, the goldness. So if we look at this, you've got a satin finish of the gold on the actual copper. It's shiny, isn't it? And when you mix up those colors, it can be very exciting in your jewelry making. You know, if you mix up the metals as well, you know, you've got that natural sunny colour that was inspired by the ancient with the energy and the health of sunlight. And I think that's one of, if you look at this design here, that Rachel's actually made, uh, this is inspired by the ancients. I mean, just look at this. That is the Egyptian look, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? So you've got that luster as well, which is that breathtaking reflection of light, which is so seductive, like an ember of firelight. You've got the fourth durability, okay? This is the, the, your, the luxury, the importance of your jewelry, the heft, the weight. Platinum's your most heaviest, then gold, then silver. And just look at the weight and the importance and the opulence that gold feel gives your jewelry. And then finally, workability. 
Now this is two categories, malleability and ductility. And malleability, you know, the ancient Sumerians and the Egyptians, you know, they worked with gold as far back as 3000 BC. And uh, we've got that boulder picture, darling. I just want to show you about the malleability of gold. They say if you, um, you could actually stretch a troy ounce of gold 50 miles without it breaking. Now, this is a very important uh, precious golden rock in Yangon in Burma. And it's on the edge of a cliff. And you've got the gold actual, they've actually gold plated um, the, the, the actual rock itself. And it's balanced on the edge of the rock edge there and they say it's balanced by the single hair of the buddha and they've literally enshrined the entire golden rock this great boulder 25 feet high um with gold leaf so it just goes to show you how malleable gold is how you can stretch that gold you know you can literally work with it bend it form it twist it Rachel's got it, the gold plating on her wire and you can see her bending wiring malleable you know moving the gold wire into all sorts of you know, shape. So if you could stretch a troy ounce, which is about 31 grams of gold, into 50 miles before it breaks. And there you had the, the golden rock there, that shrine of Buddha. So very versatile for jewelry, very precious. Just look, did we even look at this? Look at this, if you mix those metals, how exciting it is. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that stunning? It will hold its shape. You know, that's the ductility of your gold. If you bend it, you know, it's called the metal memory. That's fantastic. I mean, gold is your second heaviest, but the heaviest actually is, is your platinum. I was just, I had a, I had a bit of a factoid for you. Yeah, a six inch cube of platinum, this will amaze you, a six inch cube of platinum, it's basically the same as a grown man, 169 pounds. Weighs the same, that's how, you know, if you ever feel platinum jewelry, how heavy it is. Gold is next heaviest and silver is your lightest. If all the gold in the world was clubbed together, it would fill two um, Olympic size well, swimming pools. Well, I've got a bit of a fact toilet. That's not. It's almost. It's almost, almost correct. Yeah. And if the platinum would only fill the bottom inch. Or Go up something. your ankles. Yeah. Go up to your ankles. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> I've got. I've got a question later. Remember what Rachel oh, just sorry. said. <laughs> question. We get the price in. Yes, I'm talking to you. Because uh, <laughs> uh, the quiz question, which relates to exactly what you just said, Rach. <laughs> Look at her. She's stealing me questions now. <laughs> 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 let's bring the price in and let's uh oh yes yeah, sorry yes if you bought, uh, bought all of this kit individually just under 50 pounds rach but we're not going to do that today are we 54 pounds no how am i going to sell it for 54 pounds oh my heavens you bet your bottom dollar we've got an even better deal and you can make jewelry as gorgeous and sumptuous as this did we see it all adam i didn't even know i was too busy talking about gold Oh, look at the beautiful earrings and the pearls there. Whaty, 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 24 95 And you've got basically, by jewellery maker standards and prices, £54 worth of individual components. You've got gold plated copper round pendant, gold plated uh, 10 meters of copper 0.6 wire. You've got rose gold plated, beautiful copper beads there, five pieces. You've got silver, sterling, we're mixing up those beautiful precious metals, silver cord ends. You've got 10 gold organza bags, 10 meters times 10. 10 meters, sorry, the gold organza ribbon. Yellow uh, elastic, white elastic, gold uh, beading thread, uh, silver beading thread, gold plated copper findings, a hundred of them. Red shell pearls, white pearls, and then beautiful 90 carats of multicolored agate. And everything ends at nine o'clock in the morning. And if one PP all day. And if you bought it all individually tomorrow, you'd be paying close to 54 pounds. Oh, and. Are these shell pearls or real pearls? They look like real pearls. To they're, me. They're, sorry, you're absolutely right. I said shell. You're absolutely right, Rach. They're actually real pearls. Forgive me, that was a slip of the tongue. Okay. Do you know why? Because they're so uniformly round. Mm. I just, I, and the they are so actually amazing, real potato yeah. pearls, yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll have to watch me today because I say daft things like that. It's all right. I've, Good job I've you're given in. away your quiz question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so excited. I'm a little bit overexcited, aren't I? I need to calm down a bit, don't I? Remember what I'm here for. <laughs> I just enjoy it so much. Genuine potato pearls, 24 95 I don't think the start to a Saturday morning could get any better. And uh, we are going to see a demonstration from the delightful Rachel and talk about her inspired pieces. And then we're going to set a quiz question and if you get it right, so have your text ready, after, after we've, uh, you know, had a little bit of a chat, um, we, we will select certain pieces and with 
a, a, a piece of Rachel's jewellery will give a scoop. Would That'll be the prize. To bring over the earrings that I've made. Yeah. I'm going to try and make those. We'll bring it over. We'll bring, we'll bring it all over, Rach. We'll bring it all over. I'll bring me quiz question. Thank you. I'll just pop that there because that's going to be everywhere. We'll bring it all over. Now, $24.95. Could be talking. 54 to buy these tomorrow now after nine o'clock tomorrow in terms of the individual pieces so that's a great saving and when you look at the jewelry that rachel has made i mean quite frankly it's you couldn't even put a price on it so absolutely fantastic and i want to talk to rachel actually about that 0.6 millimeter gold plated wire in there because obviously you're, oh. you're very used to working with your different gauges and i what works. love mixing the gauges um and but you can get away with using just one gauge if that's what you've got yeah and so there are techniques that you can use to sort of strengthen up 0.6 wire by doubling it or tripling it yeah. um if you want to and then you've got the the wonderful nature the fact you can sort of weave it and coil it and do all these yeah. other things yeah. with it and do fine work so we, it's wonderful we have actually got some wire bundle um reductions especially for today's show for you later anyway so talking about those gauges we can actually bring that to you anyway but yeah. you, for the remit of this this particular kit yours was a 0.6 and uh, well, you've gone in very different directions here. I have. I you? thought I, I went away from combining it. Cause you could, you could easily combine the strawberries and cream of the pearls and the the two pearl um, combinations. But I thought I'd separate because I wanted to make the Egyptian or the the um, ancient looking <laughs> jewelry. Well, yes. But it um, is. It's very uh, Egyptian inspired. Um, and Beautiful. actually, I could have teamed up again. You can team all these things up with each other. The lovely. Um, Coloured agate oh, um, has some lovely greens and purples in. Very and very a, light, can't they? Yes, yes. You'll have a different combination of each um, in each strand. It might have less purples, and the one I've got to work with today has a few more purples in. So each one will be slightly different, but the lovely browns and greens and purples and you just coil oranges. those, and then those are all little scraps of wire. So really? you have lots of scraps of wire. You're going to cut off the ends of things, save them because you can use them all. Um, f to make these little coil Spirals, wrapped coils, coils and, and make the these little bangles. Beads. Yeah, so don't throw anything away. Um, you don't waste a thing. So every wee Beautiful. scrap of wire went into making all those pieces. And you've layered your um, gold coloured wire there just to, for greater effect there. How many yes. have we got? We've got I, about six. I originally put about six in yeah. and one kinked. And once they kink, you can't undo it. So oh. I cut, just cut it out of the, um, and then it was fine. Yeah. So, yeah. so you can plait it um, and if you want to. I know that a lot of people plait them. The, uh, I know Gemma, I've seen Gemma plait them beautifully. Yeah, so, yeah, it's almost like a herringbone yes, sort of design. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, it's very versatile. Uh, and you've also got the organza, and I've actually woven Ooh, the organza. This is fantastic. Um, and I had just five or six beads left over, and I made um, beautiful. a little dragonfly, and I, and I wove the organza ribbon um, into... Where shall I show this? Yes, that's, that's lovely, that's perfect, here, darling, yeah. Um, Animal full of you, wove darling. Wove the organza ribbon into a... Um, into using a um, Kumo Hemo disc uh -huh. um, and put the ends on. And with this dragonfly, I use three combinations of wire, one millimeter, 0.6 and 0.4, to make all the different effects. So um, that's sort of a piece made out of three different wire types. But I'm going to show you one of the earrings, which is entirely made out of 0.6. Oh, now I love these. Yeah, that's all right. I love so, these, yes. Because this ties in as well with the spiral coiling on your beautiful bracelet there, wrapping that gold. It just gives such a sumptuous, opulent feel, doesn't it? Um, it, uh, it does, and also, well, it, it, it matches those little oh, um, pearls, the spiral beautifully. You've got some lovely um, edges and, and um, ridges to them, and actually the spiral sort of mimics that and carries it on into the design. Yeah, so yeah, beautiful. Now I'm going to try and make one of those earrings. Do you think yes. that's OK? Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. please do. Well, sorry, darling, it's just the, the, sh <laughs> the sort of sure our stand is... is and uh, we know, Rachel, already people are loving this kit because half the stock's already been oh, allocated. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And then, uh, yeah. of course, we'll pick a piece for the winner of our, of our question at the end and oh, and we'll stick in a scoop as well, so uh, stay watching. Brilliant. Yes. Well, I'll this leave that to you. <laughs> you can choose. Oh, I hope they It'll are. be a surprise. It'll be an original Rachel Morris. <laughs> That's all we need to know. Well, this, this earring can be made in any sort of length. Um, I've made it a long dangly one, but you can take this chunk out if you if you like, um, so that you don't have to, I'll move it over, it's all right in there. Yeah, yeah. You can take this chunk you. out if you like. If you don't want too much of a drop, you can just have it just dangling from here. Yeah, um, well, I like a bit of extra I've dangle. For the, you know, big party look, basically. Definitely. Um, if we've got time, I have made one of these up already. It's just a very simple, um, using a, 
I-pin I pin. that you get in the kit. And they're wonderful. You've got the one loop made already. I've chosen two matching beads. I always try and make the earrings first because if you want to get the matching beads, you want to get those out first before you're, if you're at the end, you suddenly That's realize a good tip, yeah. you've got them all at the end. You think, oh, they're not matching. Yeah. Because of the nature of gemstones, they do have this wonderful variation. If you can try and get two the same, um, then you're ready to go. And I always make each earring stage at the same stage as I work through so that they match size and shape, ah. things like that, because then otherwise you're not left with... So you wouldn't finish one and then start on the other. No, you because they, side sometimes side. you forget how you made them. There is that, yes. Um, yeah. And or you also you've used a different lengths, lengths of wire, mm. things like that. Yeah. So I'm just going to make a very simple wrap loop to make the other, to make one of these. I'm actually just going to use my fingers. My fingers are so work hardened by all the years. Simple wrap loop. I don't know you've got that. Um, and also, I'm going to use just the round nose and the flat nose just to make sure they line up because I want the earring to hang straight. I'm going to use the flat nose and round nose just to make that first little wrap, just to strengthen that loop up. And then cut and snip. And I can't find any cutters. So I've oh, actually, my darling. I've got my own old oh, ones that I've okay, used sweetheart. before. Let's see if I've, what you could. No, I haven't got their, their so round noses worry. over there. So if I've used, quickly used those ones. We'll anyway, try and dig you out a pair, darling. So that's the little top component. Now we're going to make the slightly more complex um, base unit. Mm -hmm. For that, you need one of the. Um, copper oh, the beads. copper beads? Copper yes, beads. I was thinking they look like cowbells, though, <laughs> yeah. to me. So, yeah, sort of. This yeah, is what I see. Yeah, cowbells. Yeah, cowbell 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 cowbell. That's exactly right. And one of these. Oh, as far as I'll show you how to make <laughs> one of those. Um, we need a little gold bead. Um, and lots of lots of 0.6 wire. So I'm going to make you show you how to make the S-shaped spiral first of all. And again, I think this is on one of the um, beginners DVDs. Yeah, but these are wonderful for wrapping beads in. And I've made um, a few of them. You know, so yeah. if you want to wrap that, you, I use those around the bracelet. Or you you can like use gold them, discs. <laughs> you can use yes, you can use them as um, a part of it as dangles from a bottom of a bee, the, the, the coil is a universal way of finishing off your wire. If you're a wire worker, you want to, you're always thinking, what do I do with the ends of the wire? Yeah. Either tuck them away or make a little wrap make a coil or something, make a feature of them. So to make um, a uh, coil for a bead of this size, I, I've got taken about a 16 centimetre length. And really, I want the coil to be approximately the width of the bead. Um, it doesn't matter, it's probably a little bit less. Um, when I finish it, and that helps because it wraps around the bead nicely. So what I use is I use the round nose pliers. Um, is it too complicated there? Are you okay? Just put one little, one little loop at one end, using the round nose pliers. One little loop at the other end, in opposite directions. It doesn't matter if you get it wrong because you can always twist the wire around. But I want it to end up looking like an S rather than a um, W. Then using the flat nose pliers, just quickly, you hold, you grip the coil with your flat nose and use your fingers. I'm doing quite quickly because I'm going to repeat on the other side. You're very experienced anyway. Yes, it would take me a take lot longer. Take I have your to time, say, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long you take because it, this is all meant to be fun at the end of the day. Look at that, that's fantastic. And you've got a little so easy, coil. Rachel. And as you're doing that, you're sort of work hardening the wire because wire starts off soft because the crystals are, um, you know. You're very, changing the atom structure. Yes, of, of yes, it, basically. yes. Yeah. And as you're doing, you're actually them, compressing you? them so they bind more and they work, the work, the work, wire work hardens. It becomes slightly more mm. brittle, but wire is so malleable, you can actually. This is it, this is the goal going with it we're talking about. This is why I was commenting all yes. about. We're talking sw filling swimming pools and stretching troy ounces and gold Co leafing boulders and, and copper it. too. It's one yeah, of the most exactly. ductile of metal, metals. It's it's a fantastic um, strong metal, isn't that's it? That's not as good, but there we go. That's the your shape. That's the shape coil. Yeah. Right now, what I want to do, I'm starting off with. Um, I want to make the base. The hole in the end of this bead is quite is quite large, so I want to use the the one of the little gold beads as a stopper. Um, otherwise your wire or whatever you do will pass straight through. I mean it's great because you can put probably leather cord or um, not leather, yes one mil leather cord will probably go through it or some of your silk cords will go through it so it's great for macrame. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to thread this through, this is always the bit where it doesn't go through and I'm going to just um, thread the little gold bead on and use that as a stopper so it doesn't go back through the hole. Mm -hmm. I'll take this away so it's not so messy for you to see. Using the round nose 
just going to do a little wrap loop at the base using the flat nose, wrap around. Wow, it's so hot in the studio, my fingers are always slippery and horrible, so I'm really sorry, everybody. I've got the air con on now, so hopefully we should pull down a yeah. bit. Okay, I'm just going to take that away. Forgive me, I'm using different cutters, but these are ancient ones I used before JM. And the JM cutters are absolutely wonderful. Well, it does. It, this is what's so great about gold, gold and copper, because it has mm. that durable staying power. You know, because you're, you're, gold's so soft, that's why you alloy it anyway, isn't it, with, with other metals. But when it's gold-plated copper, it just has that staying power. So was, we talk about metal memory, and then, so obviously it will retain that shape and, you know, yes, keep, yes, keep that yes, coil. Yes, it and will. As you work hard on it, that will help it. Yeah, exactly. So I've threaded the, through one loop, and then I'm going to put the other per the pearl through the top into the one. I'm going to push, what I should have done, actually, stupid was just push this out oh, a little, like a little bit and make, start making the cage spring. bead. Yeah, like a little spring. And that just helps shape it. Thread through one, thread through the pearl, uh -huh. and then thread through the other end of the loop, uh -huh. just to make it a little bit easier to do. Because I used to, <laughs> used to spend hours trying to get the end through the end of the line. <laughs> and, it's, it's, and I thought, I can't, it's got to be an easy way to do this. Then just use your fingernails to push this little spiral around the top of the bead. There we go. And you've got your spiral wrapped bead. And you spend a bit of time just, sort of just to do it. And if yeah. you find, you can either make it loose, or if you twist with your hands ah. clockwise, it'll just tighten up, tighten up the spiral. Now right. I'll bring that down. Next, we're going to go for a little wrap loop at the top using the round nose pliers. And then we're going to get, add all this coil. Now, do you want me to show you how to make a gizmo coil? Are we all fairly OK with I one think of if those? we just jump and assume we've done a gizmo yeah, coil, coil, which is fine. Just so that we can, we can fit in all our techniques yeah. today, my darling, <laughs> that's all. I'm going to take this down the back of the earring and then just wrap round ready. The more you wrap around this neck, it'll strengthen it. Mm. Because 0.6 is a bit wobbly, but the more you wrap around this neck, it will actually give a bit Fair of tension it. and actually yeah. strengthen it up. So look, we're nearly there. Look, we haven't got that much to go. I'm using a, let me just measure, just so you know. So we've pre-gizmoed. Yes, using the small um, mandrel, um, a little 0.6 coil, which is about, 0.6 millimetre coil, which is about um, six and a half centimetres long. It doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world, bigger or smaller. Just I've just gauged it for this wrap. Thread it on. Oh, trim the ends. Make sure you trim the ends. Make sure you make it look neat. You don't want any catching ends. Those little coils can catch ends. Thread that onto the wire. And then we're going to start a little um, knot. Yeah. yeah, so I want that back of that wire to be at the back of the earring because I don't particularly want it shown. So using my fingers, I'm pressing up against the end of the coil to keep the tension on it. And then I'm wrapping round, yep. and then I'm going to make a little knot. So pass that through, can you see, through the top of that. And then you've got your little X-shaped. Spend a bit of time just to make that little X knot look nice. Again, I'm live on air, so I would literally spend a few minutes just making sure that looked neat. But can mm -hmm. you see what I've done? Then tighten it up a bit. Sorry, my hands are slipping. And then tighten with the wire round the back. Sorry, darling. So just going to just spend a bit of time. There we go. Now stop right this round. flying out just while we're just tightening see? that up, the coil. So please take advantage right now. Don't forget it's only till uh, 9 a.m. and we were looking at 54 uh, pounds individually. But uh, I can say uh, two thirds of the stock already been allocated. So uh, if you'd like to emulate what Rachel is making, uh, then please, 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 you need to be dialing now. Do give us a call on the repeats. We'll give you the rundown as well in a moment. Right, we'll just come to the conclusion on the earring. Not. Yes, so made that knot, and then what I'm going to do is add some detail and scale to the front. You can do anything you like. Freestyling that? Freestyling. Yeah. What I've done is try and uh, match them up. So I have done one swirl one way and one swirl the other way. So you go down to the base, 
and up again. That gives a nice anchor point, doesn't with it? An, yes, round with another swirl. You can use your round nose pliers if you like, but I've just used my fingers. And then back up to the top. Now, this little knot has slipped out, but... Well, a suit, we'll pretend yeah. that we've had time to tighten that. Yeah, yeah um, that, needs to, that needs to be tight. That's the bit yeah. you need to work on the most as you're making it. But it does end up working. And then we just attach our, our beautiful agate. But up to there, top. and that to there. I'm lovely. Thank yeah. you, Rachel. I'm sorry uh, to rush right. you there. I'm just aware of everything we've got to pack into the show okay, today. Really well. um, we're going to have a little look at some of your Wall of Fames right now. I'm going to have a question whereby you can win. Uh, Rachel's going to select a piece of jewellery for you to win from this beautiful kit, and we'll throw in a scoop there as well and some other goodies. So uh, don't go anywhere. Let's have a look, look at some of your designs this week on the Wall of Fame. We're falling about here laughing our heads off because, yeah, they're beautiful, but the ones I read yesterday. <laughs> oh, well, Rachel, you can have a look. I'm going to set a question. I'm going to set a question now. There's a very famous inventor called Thomas Edison. In 1863, he invented the battery electrode light bulb. You know that from your school days, the light bulb. Now, in his early efforts to actually establish and make the light bulb, he actually used a very precious metal. Um, within the light bulb to literally a very fine wire. What was the wire made of? First person to text in, 60777. We'll get the answer after this quick interlude. Get the Wall of Fames up there. And uh, Rachel, well, we'll decide afterwards. Rachel's going to pick a piece of jewellery that you can win. And uh, the first person to text in, 60777. We'll throw in a scoop of some other goodies, maybe a jewellery maker mug and some other bits and bats. And then uh, let's find out. Text me in, 60777. What's the answer? The Jury Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jury designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jury Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jewelry making. I sound a bit mannish, don't I? I feel like this is like a screen test or something. The late show. How would I best describe myself? Um, loud, like a bottle of lemonade. Annoying. It's kind of all shaken up. Um, Mm. Um, I'm just waiting for somebody to unscrew my lid. <laughs> I'm not showing you a dance move, it's not happening. Don't make me do it, Chloe. It is embarrassing, though. I don't really want you to show this. You ready? Sure? I can't. I'll do a bit of robotics. Cut it out, all right, cut it out, edit it out. <laughs> Best celebrity impression. I could take you on a journey. I don't know, I haven't got any good ones. Not good at impressions. And then you go right down south of the Southern Bay of Bay. You start talking like you're from Alabama. I do a lot of New York when I'm talking about smoky quartz. Over to the West Coast like that, and you're talking like that, and it's like, oh my gosh, you know. Don't forget, I'm a, I'm a parent, so anything I do is just gonna look embarrassing. <laughs> okay, stop, stop, that is surely a wrap. Hi, welcome back. We're just sorting out those Wall of Fames. Don't forget as well, coming up later on, the most beautiful sky blue topaz. Look at this. And I've just had a guest arrive, a very important guest. Have a little look at this topaz coming up and we're going to say hello to somebody very important. It, is he camera shy or is it? No? Come and say hi. Come and say hi. Look, 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 look. Hi. 
Oh, he's a bit shy. He takes oh. after me in that respect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's oh. it going this morning? Oh, we're, we're, we're there. It's, it's, it's all, we've had a few ups and downs, but we're, we're coping. We are. <laughs> we're making fun, no doubt. Yes, exactly. It's all jam packed. Keep Freddie away. I know. Oh, How old's Freddie now, darling? 15 months. Oh, old. 15 months. Oh, it's beautiful. Very beautiful. Top. Having a morning with Daddy. Yeah. Have you come delivering goodies, my darling? Yes. Because you, I know you sorted lots of goodies yes. out. Cause that's topaz oh, topaz and the oh, Thank you for that. That's beautiful. The Quality's best. Quality's amazing. She mm. just, Rachel said she'd kill for it. I would it. absolutely. I know adore it's a bit drastic. I would, sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely uh -huh. would love to work with her. Yeah. I know, Freddie. What's it like? Same sort of quality of gems we oh, use on totally. Gems it's, TV. It's yeah. exact same quality. Yeah, exactly. Amazing quality. We used to, in fact, we used to do gold bracelets like that as well, mm. and just put the gold findings on. Oh, so I'll be talking, be using yeah. Gold on gold exactly, <laughs> exactly. You have the, the right finish to your pieces, ladies. Exactly. Use Give it the opulence. This quality. <laughs> exactly. In fact, just talking of that, I've got this massive gold findings pack coming up as well. I'll let you so, do that. Uh, then. Yeah. That All right, tonight. darling. Bye, Ed. Bye, Freddie. Bye, Talon. Bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a great gold findings pack, great offer, but it is limited edition uh, just because of the quantity available. But what it does give you is great value and great savings. So uh, you do need it in your life because I promise you it's really going to add value and opulence and luxury to your jewellery. Now, um, I'm going to do a, uh, a few gold sections of chain now. Uh, because we need a bit of chain, 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 because it's such a hot look as well. I mean, if you look at this chain with this topaz, I said we did gold bracelets on our sister channel, Gems TV. It's the exact same quality. And, um, you know, the price points will not reflect what you're going to pay for buying the chain separately here on Jewelry Maker and obviously your topaz and making it yourself. I mean, just look at those two together. How beautiful. You could just create the charms around that beautiful oval loop chain. This is brand new today. I've got so many brand new pieces for you today. And uh, just look at these lovely shapes. This is the malleability of your gold. Um, we've got the twisted, we've got the flattened, and then we've got the oval loops. It's a nine inch chain. It's brand new today. And it's gold plated sterling silver. So we've got the gold on the silver it's making it more affordable this is why you alloy gold that's why you do plating it's making it durable and when you think that this gold on the silver is able to withstand wear and heat and chemicals i mean if you just think back ancient artifacts of gold and silver have been found thousands of years ago that are still in excellent condition when you think of gold bullion and and, and precious coins found in the earth that's why on the it's a seabed. commodity you know, yeah. isn't it yes and the gold all you need to do is just to sort of give it a wipe. Silver, you do have to give a bit of a polish because it reacts with sulfur in the air. Yes. But gold and platinum keeps that beauty. And that's, that's the beauty of what you're making. You will always retain that wonderful luster, that warmth. And it's anti-corrosive, the, the tear and wear. You know, you, you've got that beautiful, beautiful. This is what distinguishes your precious metals from your base metals, your gold and your silver from your, perhaps your zincs and your tins and your nickels and your coppers and your iron. Gold will keep that beautiful luster for generations. And that's what we're investing in. And actually, I was, um, I'll just write down what it was. It was the gold price two months ago. You know, I was talking about gold prices rising. Um, we always talk about this on the show because it's, it's, it's important to us as gold buyers. Um, two months ago, it was 1500 1, and I think it was about $63 per troy ounce. As it stood yesterday, $1,771.17 per troy ounce. Now, that's, that's a $200 rise in two months, because I talk about it in the Rocks Academy, you see, so I always give the update each month, uh, since July. You know, so we're, we're $1,771 per troy ounce. That's $200 rise uh, per troy ounce of gold. So we've got a lot of gold on our silver. This is beautiful. You've got noble precious silver there. You've got the plating. It's 12 millimeters um, on, the, on the larger disc shapes, is it two centimeters, 12 on the smaller there. And it's a nine inch length of the gold on the silver. So if you just think about the, the fact that it takes days of labor just to pan for your gold, just to coax a very small amount out of the earth. And uh, you know, you, this, this is the result and it will keep that beauty, it will keep that luster, it will keep that opulence. And just look how much more it adds to your jewelry when you've got your beautiful, genuine gemstones. Isn't that fantastic? 
just gorgeous. I mean, I'm just thinking of the bracelet you could make. I mean, obviously you can use it in earrings, you can cut it and use it in your asymmetric necklaces, but make sure it reflects in your price point when you're selling your jewelry because of that warmth, that luster. You know, I know as an artist, and I know Rachel does like to work with the different mediums, but it can give your jewelry such a unique value. And you can talk about those gold prices and, you know, share that with your customers. Amazing, let's give you a deal because it's our little gold section. 17.95, I know we are paying a little bit more than perhaps we would for gold brass or perhaps our silver, but even silver prices are rising, they're spiking as well. But what you, you think to yourself, how much would I pay for a gold bracelet, a gold plated bracelet? You know, you've still got the luxury, ridiculous. I mean, we can actually split those larger rings to make some lovely earrings. Maybe maybe even set, set the pearl in there. We can actually keep it as, as a bracelet length, split it into two for two asymmetric parts. And then, why would you work? I mean, when you see a nine inch length of chain, oh, goodness. Rachel, what, where does your mind take you, darling? Um, right, I would try and make a set out of it. So um, I would use one length for the bracelet. One length for a bracelet, yeah. yeah. And I make a catch, so that adds a bit of length on it. And then yeah. you can use the rest in chunks in, um, maybe it's the, the side parts side and parts the necklace with a lot of beads at the bottom. Yeah, beautiful. And then you've got your set. Yeah, exactly. Because by putting on the, 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 the clasp the toggle, you've got the length there. So you've still got a good two inches, maybe three, yes. on, on, on the chain. Or even buy two. Let's move to another you know, one. Or buy Adam. Two. Or buy two and then you've got, yes. Even you've better. You've got your set. <laughs> <laughs> I like your thinking. Um, what was that code, beautiful? Ah, oh, uh, yeah, got it, got it. Now, again, beautiful, and this one's gorgeous and different. Again, brand new, because through this, we can actually weave our gemstones. So something like our amethyst. I know, our high-end amethyst. Isn't that delicious, those ovals? But they've got, you see, this is the malleability of your gold. This, these are the properties of your gold, the workability, the durability, and the rarity. You know, the fact that you can actually work this gold on the silver without damaging it. You've got that precious metal memory. You know, you've got that durability. This is what sets up your noble precious metals apart. And you just look at that, that feeling and that temperature against your skin. You could dangle one of those beautiful pearls in the middle. I mean, that is what's so beautiful about this chain. If you just look at it, the hand or on the neckline, it's just very eye-catching because of the undulating movement in it. And again, it's gold, it's on silver. You've got that brushed effect as well. They're texturizing the gold to make it very exciting to get that shiny luster even more, even more um, prevalent and, and, and there on the eye. And, you know, the rarity of gold is, again, what makes it so expensive, as well as actually the actual, you know, sourcing of it, panning of it, because it, gold itself makes up of the Earth's crust 3.5 parts per billion of the, uh, uh, that's how tiny the amount is, 3.5 parts per billion of the Earth's crust. Silver is 73 parts per billion, which is why it's a bit more affordable. And actually, surprisingly, platinum is more, 45 parts, but platinum takes longer to mine. It's thinly dispersed, and to extract the process takes longer. So that's why your platinum's more expensive. But um, yeah, just amazing, isn't it? Ah, oh, the tea fairies arrived. Thank you, darling. <laughs> the mystery hand of the lovely Scott Warsfold. Come say hi. Hello. Come and say hello, darling. Making tea. <laughs> He's helping me. I'm just making tea, that's it now. Anything we love else? you, darling. Cakes. He helped me with the quiz as well, so you can blame him if you don't know the answers. I think, I think question nine's the best. <laughs> Have fun. We'll get to that. We've got to that. We've got to question one. I better set a few more. Oh, All fun. righty. See you later. Let's let's bring that price in because we've got very special prices on these for today and today only. Seventeen ninety-five. The opulence, the richness, the beauty. Look at it. Won't tarnish. You know, you've got that lot of gold. It always looks as good as new. Just a, so that beautiful luster, you know, keeping it there for, for, for generations. Isn't that fantastic? It's just gorgeous. OK, let's go on to the next, because there's so much to bring you. Um, and again, very different again. It's the texture. This is my producer's favourite. Remember, these offers are only till nine o'clock tomorrow. We're doing very special gold uh, price. You know, we're not hiking the prices. We brought them down for this show because we know it was planned and we want to, you know, really introduce this opulence remaking as well. This is a wicked price. It's a naughty Kimmy price because it's a favourite. Why do you love I mean, I know why I love it, but why do you love it so much over and above the others, Kimmy? 
What's about, what is it about it? Is it the style? Is it the shape? She saw, she saw an episode of Sex in the City and Samantha was wearing some earrings that were very similar to this chain and she's been hooked ever since. That's Kim's story. She says they look very, I dare say they were very expensive because they all wear what the designers make for them to showcase, don't they? That's a nice job. Nice job if you can get it. Look at this. It's hard, it's hard push to decide which is your favorite. I mean, you could, they make two great earrings. You only need two, you've got, you've got enough there. I mean, Rachel's idea was inspirational as well. Let's make a set. And because of that paneled effect, look at that textured effect. Isn't that gorgeous? That will retain that luster, that will retain that beauty, that will retain that nobility. And you've got nine inches there. So we've got gold on silver, we've got precious beauty on precious beauty. And all, it's very, it's very sturdy, it looks as though um, you know, it's, it's going to be sort of might lose its shape, but it's not. It's extremely strong. You could, you could, you know, if I wanted to, just give it a bit of curvature. Yeah, do just give it a bit of curvature there. But to be honest, I love, I love the, I love this, I love the shape as it is. Let's put a bit of this up to the ear. Let's just come on, indulge me, Tommy, indulge. Oh, I don't mean my earrings. La 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 la. Oh, the gorgeousness. Oh, well, I wouldn't, well, actually, do you know what? I did see some earrings down to here, lady had on TV. I thought that's a bit much. <laughs> oh, I could have, I could have rammy glasses. Couldn't I? I never lose them. <laughs> was it a Mark's show that he was saying about making spectacle? Um, yes, yeah, um, the spectacle. I saw a lady there like doing uh, cherries. Um, well, cherry, she, she yes. made, she'd made hers around her spectacles. They were beautiful. Yeah, very good. At gemstones, mm. yeah, fantastic. Look at that, that looks fantastic on it. We'll never lose that allure. Get more than one because we're doing very special offers today. Kimmy's got a wicked price for you because she's a wicked woman who has wily ways. Ooh, ooh, Chimikuchi, 14 at 95. Wow, wow, wee wow. Sensational gold on silver. Let's get it while it's affordable before, before those prices rocket beyond our wildest imagination. We can't even afford to get it. Let's make our jewellery even more opulent, even more beautiful. Let's really get this beautiful luster into our, into our gem designs. Okay, let's have a bit of our fantastic. Now, can we show, can we show um, as well the bit of Tutankhamun? Because this, this is why your goal is so fantastic. It's Tutankhamun there, darling. This is probably the, the oldest known religious artifact, the most expensive, most, not the oldest known. This is the most expensive religious artifact. You know Tutankhamun's gold mask? And this is just goes to show you, I mean, this is an artifact that dates back thousands of years. And you dig it up, you polish it, because they made three, didn't they? Um, it's 24 pounds of gold and inlaid with lapis, carnelian and quartz. And, you know, it was in, it was in a, a sarcophagus that was 296 pounds of solid gold. And, um, you know, that was inside three gold coffins. Two were made of wood and one was with the gold overlay and the third was solid gold. But that mask is 24 pounds. Now, the reason I only need to show you that is obviously just to, just to see how gold retains that beautiful luster, that beautiful quality, you know, that beautiful, stunning quality. And you, ne it is amazing. I've actually seen it. I've actually visited when I went to um, Egypt. I actually went to the. Did you? Did, oh yeah, the museum. I think it toured over for a while yeah, here as well. As well yes. Yeah, but I went there. And it was so hot, but it was so oh, it's so, so beautiful hot, but to yes, go and see that. Amazing. Yeah, and it was up, and it's smaller than you think. It's smaller than you think because it was only a human size it, as well. Yeah, but it was absolutely intricate. The colour. Yeah, the um, lapis. And yes. The honey, yeah, amazing. Mm. But it just, it just shows you how old that gold was, and yet still, it's it incorruptible. Like brand it's new, it's incorruptible. It? Metal, exactly. Isn't it? So exactly. Mm. Let's yeah. bring you a metre of aluminium gold double oval loop chain. Oh, let's drape ourselves in gold. Look at this. I know, eyes street. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Hey, so stick to the gold facts, Fee. Um, I know, Mr. T. Well, you know, I wouldn't just have it. I wouldn't be going around with a big length of this. I'd be cutting it up, Rachel. Come on now, let's be sensible. Wonderful design on the Wall of Fame um, last week, I think, and should um, cut up the links and use yeah. them in between the beads, each link yeah. in between the beads, and they hung oh, really nicely, actually. Fantastic. They were great spaces. Um, I saw um, Sheila, Sheila. She, she, she literally 
put them in layers of three, like you just yes. said, between big yes. gems. And so you cut, you break it up, exactly. and also use it to break up your beads. So it's I'd be very tempted both. to do a nice sort of low drop hung. Um, yeah, I know, hang bag strap, sort of um, belts. What is so lovely about it? It's got all that glamour. You know, if you've got a clutch bag, you want to adopt. Adapt, adapt. Um, just you've got the lovely lightness. It's fantastic to wear with. So don't just think of it as chain. As Rachel just said, you know, cut it up. I saw that wonderful. It looked like a Gucci esque bracelet. It was amazing. She had made some bracelets. Mm -hmm. She just, you know, had them in layers of three in between big gems. You know, very Chanel esque, very Gucci, very Bulgari. Very... Uh, I mean, all the designers are wonderful. I just love oh. what each of every designer has a beautiful aspect. And I love Sheila's yeah. designs as well. I know. I really do. Like you you just see certain too. designs. You know, that's Rachel. That's Sheila. That's Linda. And this mm. is 795, a meter of the aluminium gold double oval loop chain. Try it out, give it a go. Add that splash of luxury to your designs. And let's do the last one, which is just equally as fabulous. And that, that, that one, you know, the alloy gold, obviously to make it more affordable and more durable, but it does change the luster and the color. That looks like your 24 carat, you know, in terms of the goldness. And this looks more like your nine carat because you get a lighter luster. It also, the reason, the other reason the alloy gold as well is uh, to give a smoother polish. Yeah, to give a smoother polish. Now this is fun. See, I'd, I'd be thinking belts. And I remember Cherry saying, you know, layer your, layer your, your textures, layer, go for a chain, go for a smaller, maybe some macrame, mix it in with a gem layer as well. Create those bib lengths. And this is so fashionable right now. I mean, this is the first time on screen. I'd just make a necklace out of that. I'd be just like so there with that straight away. Gold textured aluminium oval, oval curve chain, a little bit smaller in the links, equally as beautiful. So we've got our, we've got our look at the 24 carat. This is our, this is our nine carat because the luster is slightly uh, lighter as it were. And uh, beautiful. I mean, this is very, very versatile. We don't need, you've got a meter of it. So, you know, as Rachel said, you don't even need to use much. You can do earrings, you can do bracelets, you can do necklaces. There's, with a meter, you can do it with a lot, can't you? Yeah. Hair bands. I meant to wear my gold hair band, I forgot that. Gosh, oh so yeah, Kurt Christmas decorations. Christmas decorations. Drape your tree yes. in gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to drape myself. Don't mind me tree. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring you the gold rush price. <gasps> wow, well, well, we well for ninety-five. It's the look of the gold. Yeah, admittedly, but we don't even be paying those prices. We've got the luxury high end, so we can get that ourselves. But if we want to go for those bigger, more, you know, those big textured pieces, those statement pieces, or or really spread it around in our exciting designs, then we've got the affordability here as well. Get two. Get one that's you know more of the fun textured meter, and then a, a nice, decent, rich gold silver bit as well. This is our little gold section. We're going to do a new one as well. I'm going to set you another little fun quiz question. 4.95, more gold facts to follow. So question number two, the question number two, I'll do uh, in a second. Now, what we got new in that you want me to do, darling? My lovely quartz drops, indeed. I put these with that blue topaz earlier as well. And then I'll set you a fun quiz question. And then when we get to question number 10, that's the one to dial in for. Oh, sorry, we had a winner. Oh my goodness, we had a winner. The Thomas Edison question. Mandy Sue. Mandy Sue was the winner. Ha Mandy Sue in Cumbria, she must be thinking, that woman gone mad, she's got to, the people that texted in, I asked the question, so Mandy Sue, mm, you're gonna well win uh, a piece of Rachel's jewelry, we're gonna throw in a scoop, a jewelry maker mug, we'll throw in some goodies for you there. Mandy Sue mm. was the first person to text into the question at the end of the first kit. I said, Thomas Edin Edison took some precious metal uh, from a battery electrode, put it into very fine wire and used it as early efforts to create the electric light bulb, what was it? Uh, a precious metal, so it had to be either gold, silver or platinum. And it's actually the least ductile of all three it was platinum. So Mandy Sue in Cumbria, you're the winner. Congratulations. So sorry about that. Uh, I forgot to say who the winner was. Let's bring you the white quartz drops. Ah, oh, we'll have more questions as well with the other two kits, okay? So well done, Mandy Sue. Let's bring you the white quartz drops that look so beautiful with the blue topaz. It's just so exciting. There's just so much to fit in. Look at those, oh, they're delicious. Um, Rachel's making those lovely rosette flowers out of the wire and the beautiful gold. Um, okay. Are they organza Orga bags? That's the organza bags The organza bags you cut up, yeah? Yes. Genius, and I'm just thinking of these teardrops in there. We could use pearls. With those pearls earlier that we gave Rachel, just sumptuous, 90 carats, and just look at this clarity, because it is about that clarity, just perfect, brilliance. Whether you do need to, they always lend themselves, I think, to little flowers, don't they? 
just incredible clarity, which is what I want from my gemstones. If I want the allure and the burning embers and the shiny gold luster of my gold, with my gemstones, I want sparkle, I want brilliance. If it's colored gemstones, I want color. If, if it's beautiful pearls, I, I just want that pearlescence. But just look at these fantastic brilliance of light, reflected high refractivity, just all that inner brilliance, which is just so, 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 so beautiful. Um, so whatever you do, make sure you're dialing early. There's loads of offers today. We're jam packing the show every which way. And I think with the coolness of the white quartz, the gold looks fantastic as well. Have I what, darling? I have, yeah. Let me just move all my bobbins and I'll get this. Uh, to put through around it all the, the different colored wires as well. You can actually put the gold wire that we've had, you know, or the gold beading thread, you know, in our yeah wouldn't that look lush going through they're running gold a river of gold running through the white quartz fantastic so beautiful with it can, it's a foil a backdrop for any any genuine gemstone we place next to it isn't it the white pearls the blue topaz that fantastic look at that amethyst glowing goodness heavens we've got to have it the ch the beautiful ch pearls you had in that first kit uh, rachel yes. oh uh, and, and the other pearls that we've got as well coming up and yes the, all the pearls in the other kits mm. as well but that white court the white quartz you're showing now is an absolute staple isn't it um so beautiful so beautiful mm. isn't it so clear um so bright so brilliant mm. in its clarity just absolutely fantastic forgive me mm. just there we go beautiful drop it's the shape isn't it they lend themselves to petals and flowers and um, what I love though is the, the absolute Christmas clarity star. I use those oh. things of Christmas stars and little Christmas droplets stars. and you can make little earrings and hangings for your windows or they look like little droplets yeah, of water on yes. a cobweb or on the just on as the charms on a bracelet yeah. I and mean, they'll catch the light beautifully oh, oh just delicious i love white quartz i'm there actually. with you i'm there yeah. i'm there. <laughs> <laughs> the imaginings are going there with you let's bring you a fantastic price point as well it's an amazing gold rush special of 7.95 under eight pounds now we haven't really introduced ourselves much to our new buyers today as well so new jewelry makers we've shown a kit and rachel is a very experienced jewelry maker so we can start very easily with our wire work dvds you can come on a course i get a kit to start with experience the designs you, you will get as prolific you know as rachel with time and practice that jewelry makers for science. Yes, yeah. that's when I started making. Yeah. So it was jewelry maker that got really got me going. Really, now mm. look at her. She's away with the fairies and all her amazing <laughs> designs. Fantastic. In fact, if you've got questions for uh, Rachel, please text us in. I mean, how long have you been making your jewelry, my darling? Well, I went on a silversmithing course um, for about an e adult evening class uh, about four or five years ago uh, for about six weeks, and then my teacher became ill, and also I started having um, a baby and all these other things. So I was thinking of other things and had, um, <laughs> had Jack and I was on maternity leave and Jewelry Maker started. Oh, okay. It was absolute godsend. I had something to do um, for yeah. myself. Um, I had time to do it for the first time in my yeah. life yeah. and I just absolutely and now loved it from, yes. And we'll tell you your breaking news later as well. We'll do our breaking <laughs> news. Um, we, are gonna, we are going to, what we're we going to do? <laughs> we have the gold the gold finest, but I, I want to just tell you something. I'm going to set a quiz as well. Number two, who presented the lunchtime quiz show? This is just for fun. Again, we can win something. Who presented the lunchtime quiz show going for gold? That was normally on after Neighbours, BBC One, and it ran from 1987 to 1996, and it was called Going for Gold. Now, in this break, we're going to show you as well another fantastic designer, Natalia. She's doing the Silver Clay Rings course on the 3rd of October. You can ring up the customer service number, free phone number there, and uh, book in to do that, because it is specifically about using the silver clay and making the rings. We're going to show you how to get involved with that. So as a new jewellery maker, or even experienced, you can actually diversify into another realm of jewellery making. Text us in your answer to uh, my quiz question, just for fun, but the, the number 10 is the one that's going to win a prize. Uh, who presented? Here's the, quiz, here's the, the text uh, message service, 16. Zero trouble seven. Who presented the lunchtime quiz show? Going for gold. Normally, on. we've already had the answer. After this, we'll show you about the uh, ring making course and uh, text in any questions you've got for Rachel later on when we want to quiz her.
Come and join in the fun with international art clay instructor Natalia Coleman as she teaches you the basics of making personalized rings from silver clay. During the course of the day, you will learn how to create your own rings, add texture and decoration, finishing and polishing, and how to add color to your finished piece. The full course includes use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet our presenters, and have a chance to visit our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $99.95. To book your place, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Our standard delivery is now only £2.95 per day, regardless of how many pieces of jewellery are added to your order. Delivery takes between four to six working days, and if you want your jewellery quicker, simply speak to our call centre about our premium delivery service. was hot off the press there <laughs> and the answer was Henry Kelly so uh, if you keep as quick as that on 6077 question 10 is going to be the prize giving one so well done Kelly and these are just for fun and we're asking for your questions for Rachel on 6077 but don't forget start your message James studio any questions that you have you just even if you just want to say hi but we're going to have a Q&A with Rachel later on in the show as well now earlier on we set Rachel a challenge but we didn't launch the bundle I'm going to launch it now don't forget as well given what we talked about the gold prices and uh, the worth and the value that we've got the big gold bundle coming up later on major major value built into that limited edition I've got my beautiful amethyst and my topaz which were absolutely in awe of from our gems of distinction and you saw behind me in India how you know how um, skilled our lapidists are at cutting these beautiful beautiful high-end gemstones the kind that you would see in our gemstone jewelry on gems TV just to really set it apart uh, from uh, you know these really are your high-end bespoke pieces just stunning and I've also got some very pretty quartz coming up in the, in, in the cubic shape we don't often see this shape look at those how pretty are those autumn colors it looks like the autumn leaves doesn't it isn't that gorgeous the autumn leaves all righty let, let's release the bundle I'm going to give another question because, quite frankly, Kelly Ann was far too fast off the block. What was the year that the James Bond film Goldfinger, which was the title song sung by Shirley Bassey, Sean Connery starred in it, and he played 007, what was the year? Just text me in for fun. Can you name the year? Question number three, 6077. What year was Goldfinger? What's that? No, you're wrong. <laughs> You're wrong, my darling. Right, this was a bundle. I'm going to release it. And obviously, later on, we'll see, brand new today, we'll see what Rachel has made out of it. And, of course, it features gold, because that is the theme of today's show. This is the yellow gold, OK? So, in this bundle, don't forget, when we're bundling it together, we're giving you great, great value and great savings. I've got my gold beading thread, for starters, 0.45 millimetre gauge. Now, this is what Rachel used earlier. Remember, she layered it up six she said, if you get a kink, just cut it off and start again because you get loads on there. So that can make your pieces look really rich and give you that extra extension on there as well. So uh, there is your beautiful sunny gold there. Um, and then we've also got our eye pins here. Now, these are the long. We've got a lot of questions. I remember, you were asking, asking, asking. Please can we have the longer length eye pins for when we are doing the big gemstones? Because the, the normal four centimeter, they're just not long enough. So these are the longer ones. And these are the two and a half centimeter ones. So you can see the difference, yeah? So you actually get, they're five centimeters. 
and these are two and a half centimeters. And uh, I'm just counting now, five, So of the large long ones, you get 20, and of the two and a half, 30. That's how many you get. And they are gold plated silver. Okay, so five centimeters, which we've had some big gemstones yesterday, and I know people struggle to get the eye pins going all the way through the gemstone. So those five centimeters are, are, are great, so. Okay, and then you get the gold brushed copper e-coated saucers. They're like little, well, like little spinning tops. 16 by 10 millimeters, you get 12 of those. Beautifully finished. So you get 12 of those, gorgeous. Oh, 10, sorry, sorry, 10, 10 of those, I apologize. So you've got your actual 50 meters of gold beading thread, 30 of the two and a half centimeter eye pins, uh, 20 of the gold-plated sterling silver eye pins that are five centimeters, and then 10 of the gold-plated coated copper rondel beads. We also get a pack of 20, sorry, no, we also get a pack of, it is 20, isn't it, isn't it? Of the gold-plated crimp beads that are three by two millimeters. I'm just checking now. Is it 20, darling? Quite long and large ones. Quite they are long. Nice. I think it's more than 20, um, isn't it, in a pack? Okay, let me count. Yeah. I've got. Let's just take a moment while we're looking. Just add that bit of extra security to the heavier pieces. They do, because they're thicker, aren't they? Mm. Uh, 15, 20, 30. 30, there we go. I've established it. 30 of those. And they are a bit fatter, aren't they? They're, a bit, they're, they're, they're 3 by 2 millimetres. And you get 30 of those. And they're gold plated silver crimp beads and then we get our length of nine inch gold plated coated silver and look at this it's a really lovely thick chain really sturdy chain nine inches so this is the bundle we've given Rachel as part of today's challenge so this is there's one that's rose gold this is the yellow gold we'll do the rose gold later so this is called the all that glitters collection and for today in today's only show we're going to give you a very special deal now to buy all of these components individually 35 pounds and 20 pence that's from jewelry maker i'm not saying other price comparison stores this would cost you from jewelry maker's store a one-stop shop 30 over 35 pounds but we bundled it all together. It's the Gold Rush show, it's the special show. It's all about celebrating the beauty of gold. It's all about giving you affordability in your gold. They're all essentials, the nine inch chain, your beautiful e-coated uh, copper rondelle beads, the longer five centimeter eye pins, the two and a half centimeter eye pins. I mean, those two together, uh, you've got 50 of those collectively, 20, 30 each. 50 meters of the gold beading thread and those larger crimp beads we established you know, of which you've got, I think we said, did I say 30? 30. Yeah, I did, I There's said 30, loads yeah. Of them. <laughs> I know, forget myself, Rich. Uh, so, we're not gonna be spending 35 pounds plus. We've got even more savings. 24.95, I know, it's a bargain. That's a massive 10 pound saving towards our beautiful sky blue topaz. Now, I said I'd explain the difference between gold plates. So let's just have a little look. You've got the gold plating on the silver here. And this is, I mean, just for the chain alone, there's my worth and value as far as I'm concerned. And the, the establishment of, of, of gold plating it is basically, it's got to be a purity level of over 10K, okay? Uh, in the UK, we tend to use, we don't recognize that so much, that's, that's uh, for over in the USA, but it's, it's the 18 karat gold that we tend to use, the finest of the precious metal content. And it's got to be um, what, basically two microns thick there, a purity level of at least one and a half to be, gold, to be called gold plated. And often if it's 18 karat gold plated, you've got two microns thick, okay? And a, and a micron is a unit of measurement um, that we use to determine the thickness and the fineness of the precious metal, to give the legal de definition of the finish, to give that decorative plating. So 24.95, so you've got that thickness of the gold, you've got that fineness, that purity level of the gold, you've got that on the silver. Gold overlay is a fineness that, you know, where the gold has to be a 20th of the, the metal precious mate. And silver plate, you know, has to be a durable covering. 
and thick enough. And then the May is two and a half microns thick. So some some, some simple de definitions there. But you know, you've got a really, really, and if it's gold flash or gold wash, then it then it's a micron of 0.175 thickness. So that micron is just that unit of measurement to determine the thickness and the definition of the finish. So um, it's a thousandth of a millimeter in terms of a tiny unit of measurement. So we have got, you know, 24.95, a saving of 10 pounds. We know it's, you know, two microns thick with the gold plate. So we're gonna retain that quality, that anti-corrosive ability of that gold, that luxury of that gold on the silver there, with the exception of the copper beads, obviously, and all for 24.95. Brand new kit coming up. That's what I need to get ready for. Our second new kit of the day. We'll be having a quiz. Oh, but don't forget the fun quiz question. What year was Goldfinger? What year? That was my Shirley impression. What year was uh, that actually made and uh, released? You know, I'll just go with the average there. The, the, what did I say? The date? I mean, I, the question was, in what, what was the year that the James Bond film Goldfinger and the title song by Shirley Bassey was released? So uh, that's the one I'm going for, as opposed to when he sat there making it in his trailer. It's too complicated. So, uh, and then we're going to come back with a second new kit. We're going to see some more design work from Rachel and I'll set a question whereby you could win one of her beautiful pieces plus a lovely scoop. And that'll be at the end of the presentation. So don't go anywhere. It's all coming up after this. Add to your collection with our Wirework DVD, which is full of hints, tips and step-by-step -step instructions for all levels. Join guest designer Laura Binding as she takes you through how to create the Tree of Life, the Herringbone Weave and many more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. join guest designer Laura Binding on our intermediate wire work course. The aim of the course is to enhance your wire work skills and take your designs to the next level. You will learn more advanced weaving and binding techniques which you can incorporate into your jewellery. The full course includes a selection of gauges of wire, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, a copy of the wire work tutorial DVD edition 3, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and chance to meet the presenters, and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just £79.95. To book your place, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. We all know you need the right tools for the job, so here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Our quiz for fun, well done, Joanne from Weatherby. 1964 was the release when Goldfinger came out when Shirley Bassey sang that famous song. So well done, just for fun. But remember, be ready for question 10 because that's the prize giving one at the end of the show. All right, it's our second new kit of the day. It's called Autumn Sun and it is deliciously beautiful. We're going to get a demonstration from Rachel as well. And here it is. We've got smoky quartz, red agate, red tiger's eye, gold plated wire, red wax cord, I know, organza bags, red ribbons, lobster claws with chain ends, red elastic, red coloured beading thread. Oh, you've got everything you need. So, and I know we had a lady yesterday texting in about the, rack, the waxed cord as well, so we've got that in the kit. But let's start with our beautiful strands. I mean, just look at this. Do you know that strand earlier I said would look, wouldn't that, do you think this would work? 
Oh, it brings another dimension, doesn't it? That brand new strand coming up later as well. Those beautiful quartzes there and those square autumnal colours. So that's just something to bear in mind if you want to tie in all those gorgeous strands there with a different shape. But we've got that wonderful staple of our smoky quartz there. It's 12 millimetres. You've got your red agate, 170 carats, and those gorgeous tones of sun blushed oranges to yellow golds. Just beautiful in their richness. Love that tonality, that various tonality there in the, in the gemstones. It's just so rich. And then, oh, you could say I've saved the best to last. Just look at this tiger's eye. Isn't that delicious? The chatoyancy is just so beautiful. 100 carats, six millimeter rounds just amazing and then i said cord you've got the waxed red cord for different finishes for macrame for a different finish on your designs but two meters of the red wax cord 0.6 millimeter you've got 10 meters of the 0.6 millimeter gold plated copper wire as well to really introduce that new element to your designs you've got 10 meters of the red satin organza ribbons as well so of course with that we've got our four sterling silver three and a half inch extender lobster claw clasp with chain and cord ends you've got six meters of your red clear elastic uh, spool uh, you've got your 50 meters of your red colored beading thread and uh, another 50 meters of your silver beading thread as well you've got your purple and black organza bag plus you've got a hundred of the gold plated copper findings I know which are instrumental in Rachel's designs and absolutely fabulous look at this now awesome Sun it's a brand new kit and we've got a fantastic price point for you and it's only available till nine o'clock. I'm more worried about the quantity than I am, uh, you know, till the nine o'clock, one PMP for the day. Don't forget new jewelry makers. Got everything you need. Everything you need to make jewelry. If you were to buy these individually from Jewelry Maker, it would cost you over £41 with us. We will give you the free DVD, which gives you step-by-step -step instructions, the free booklet as well, so you can get started on your Jewelry Maker jewellery. We'll give you this month's hub, which explains all the different courses. Natalia's Silver Clay Ring Course is, when, um, is uh, Wednesday the 3rd. Why work for beginners? On the second, Rachel's going to be developing a course in the near future as well, so wait for the breaking news. So that hub tells you all about the courses you can spend and do with us here and develop your skills further as well. Let's introduce the price. Let's look at the jewellery. Look at this. So forget £41. How much would you pay for these pieces? I'd pay, you know, you'd pay £20 just for two of each, each, just these two necklaces each. There's 40 quid. Look at that. Look at that beautiful beautiful red beading thread look at that it's got genie that's all the festive season look at that with the gold oh and look at these these droplets around the beautiful they'll bring in the price isn't that gorgeous omg 21.95 that's got everything let's look at more jewelry together look at these the spirals rachel said don't waste anything just create a little spiral loop look at that you could buy two kits for what you could buy these individually. Look at this leaf work. Um, you know, when Rachel does establish her workshop details with us for the near future, you know, this is what you could learn to do with them. The butterflies, the leaves, the dragonflies. You know, this is, we are going to have a little look at one of them. I know she's shown the ring design before, but this is the way your wire work can take you. Beautiful earrings. Gosh, I'd die for a bit of dangle. Look at that with the chain. Different ways to use the chain. Look at those. The rings on the YouTube. On the, one of the shows that I did. I can't on one of the other shows. Brilliant. Yeah, That's handy to know because we have tutorials on there as well. Yeah, three we? months ago. Sometime. Three months ago. There we go. <laughs> and then look at this necklace. Now we're actually going to look at this with Rachel in terms of making this donut wire wrap with the tiger's eye. But look how exciting the chain is. She's done some gizmo work here as well. Just fantastic, isn't it? I mean, that. Wouldn't you pay 20, 20 pounds for that? And it's, the thing is, I'm not putting a value on Rachel's work or price point. This is what you can pay for faux. These are real gemstones. Look at that lovely beady bead. I love that coloured beading thread. Twenty-one ninety-five to buy them separately from Gems TV. Forty-one ninety-five. She's made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of jewellery. My word! Nine pieces of jewellery. Nine eighteen. That's not even not even two pounds fifty each. Two pounds fifty. That's just ridiculous. We've got such a saving there. Get that lovely cubed quartz later on as well. Just get that. Speak to the customer service centre right now on the free phone number. It's 1 p.m.p. all day, don't forget. 
and uh, we've got wire work bundles coming up later on as well to give you massive savings so please 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 make sure you're dialing early don't miss out We've got so much to do, haven't we, mm. Rachel? Right. My darling, over to you. Well, this um, donut feature features in the um, bracelet on the previous um, kit that we showed as well, so it's quite a good one to show. Yeah. You can also use them as um, links in um, links in necklaces. That's with your polymer clay, isn't um, it? Yes, and bubbles, um, bubble beads with polymer clay, and then you can use these little gemstone links um, with silver or the little oh, four millimeter gemstones to create little links. Uh, for um, also central focal pieces for necklaces and everything like that. Yeah. You can see, we can sort of jumble so them the, together. You know, it could be a feature pendant or, or the links. Or little links. You wrapped it around the gemstones. That's yes. a beautiful. So I'll That's show you how to make one of those. those. <laughs> I mean, they're like little mini bangles. Because yes. um, Tina yeah. showed us a long time ago how to make those the bangles, and they're just like mini bangles, which is great. Now, to make the central part of the pendant, and I'm getting tangled up with my, one of my gizmo mandals, sorry about That's that. Right, my darling. Let's move forward and that. Move that away. Um, is, tidy it up. Yeah, I'll move you to the centre there. I've there we go. put 14, 14 little, beautiful little red tiger's eye oh, on. Gorgeous. And you could use any, be any bead for this. But these these go so well with the with the gold, and I haven't had time to make little drops. But on that one, I, on the necklace, I put little drops of the beautiful um, carnelian shade of agate, um, which looked like little little sweets and jewels. That was it, beautiful. Um, anyway, so I threaded them on to quite a long, about a sort of about a metre of wire, because um, I'd rather use too much than t um, uh, too little to start off with. You can always use the, the ends and for. Um, other things. So, bring this round into a circle. And don't worry if it's not a beautiful circle to start off with. You see, I've left that. That's going to be the bottom of the of the of the core of the of the necklace. And I'm going to create a little knot. So I'm wrapping the wire around once, one way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Once around one way. And the 0.6 goes through those. It does. It does go through almost almost every gemstone. There's a few pearls it might not go through, but, but they're you organic, know what? So yeah, yeah. It's, it's not the end of the world. And then I'm going to twist round and just put it through the other side. It's going to hold that little knot of wire at the, at the top. Can okay, you see that? There we are. So we've formed the circle. Now. I'm going to just wrap round to actually strengthen this because this is 0.6, it's pretty flexible. Um, but the more you wrap round, the better it is. So I'm going to do another wrap just here. And okay, this is a bit where you sort of hit people with the wire, so I'm oh, sorry right. if I do. I'll get out of the way. Um, <laughs> Don't you worry about it. So pass it diagonally across the gemstone and hold it with your finger. I'm sorry, my fingernails, are, all my thumb, my nails have them. Um, Cracked up with everything. I don't know what it is. It's a moving house, and I was living in three it's been different hard counties work, darling, at yes. one stage. I was working in Somerset, living in Devon, and then taking the kids to school in Cornwall, living in Cornwall in the week. Cornwall, and aren't you? We're now in Cornwall. We've been there yeah. a week, um, and it's it's lovely. We're so one lucky. Most beautiful parts of the world. So yes, we're just outside Weybridge and looking over the Camel Estuary. Oh, my so goodness. did you set off uh, in um, August to get here? <laughs> <laughs> well, last night, last night, Today. I, said, oh, no, I worked at the Musgrave. I work at Musgrave Park Hospital, and I do vascular and ultrasound. That's my sort of job, and uh, so I stayed there and um, worked there for two days. And I do some of the North Devon as well, and things like that. So, um, I, I have lovely teams of people to work with. I once around the, the stone, sorry, in the middle, and then crossing I don't diagonally. Know you don't fit it all. I don't really know. I don't really know either. <laughs> and then I put my hand on this thumb and push round, and wrap once round and we're going to carry all the way round because then we're going to do I'll be as quick as I can wrapping diagonally around and the move went very well I was really lucky actually keeping my thumb held on that gemstone wrapping round once and as you do this it will start strengthening this ring up so it will become more rigid wrapping diagonally round once and in between oh, this chain's going over oh. Change the side of the going there. Round. And then keeping your thumb on. But these are lovely if you want to make sort of links in bracelets or necklaces with any any size beads. Also scale it up to make a bangle with it as well. 
Um, you get this it's fabulous look with a tassel. It's, it's, yeah. And the circle is a sort of universal jewellery. Isn't it? Yeah, it's um, like the hearts, isn't it? It's, um, it's a staple, isn't staple, it? Staple yeah. um, design element. And then round, again, round. You can see how the little pattern is yeah. starting to form. But I'm using my thumb just to hold that whilst so you probably can't... S I'm hiding it, I'm so sorry. It'll, it'll become evidence as we go round. Um, and it's and the malleability of that 0 0.6, isn't it, in, in the gold-plated copper wire there in the, yes. in the kit? Yes. This is a slightly awkward bit where we're running around the side of the chain. Mm -hmm. you must be careful not to, to tangle that chain up because it will want to. Yeah. Hold it round. I'm going to do that side of it. You can see how it's forming. Yeah. It's very pretty. Taking shape. And um, what I'm going to do, I need to get rid of that bit, so I'm just going to get rid of it. I've realised I've got it too long a length. That's okay. It would be a case of tying it up. You could almost, end, you could it? even um, make a little spiral at that end. Um, stacks of things you could do. Tidy it up with a, with a um, pliers, which I've lost. So. There we are. I've used one of those, which I shouldn't have done. So we just carry that all the way carry around. Carry all the, the way around, yeah. and, and then you go around the other way with the diagonal, oh, okay. the other way. So that's what I'm trying to finish. In the, I don't you know how much time. Yourself. Yes. Um, so I'm going to be quick, as speedy as I can. And then what we do is you create a, you can stop there, mm -hmm. you can have it just as a little line all the way around, but what I've done is I've created a cross, so right. I've, I've, I've just gone over all the way around again in the other way. So if I can do a few of those just to show okay, you, yeah. if we've got the time, um, then if you feel it slipping around, just use your fingernail to pull it round, okay? Tell you what, so while might... you just finish that, I'll set the question, my darling. Brilliant. I'll um... set the question, you can finish that, and then we'll just have a quick look at you going back over yourself. So, to win one of the pieces of jewellery, we'll decide at the end. Uh, we'll throw in a scoop as well, uh, maybe jewellery makeup, so we'll throw in some goodies as well. Here is your question. Um, Make sure you give your customer number because that's why I'm not showing the text. So if you're giving your customer number, first person to text in the answer to this question. Now, in the US of A, it is law that um, no alloy with a gold content can be less than how much in terms of carriage of fineness? What is the purity level you can have it no less than uh, in the US of A? Not here in Britain. So we know what it is in Britain, mm. not in Germany, because that's different again, mm. but in the USA, what is the carriage of fineness of the gold that it is law that you cannot have it lower than for it, for it to be called gold? Text message and oh. services 60777, slightly your message James Studio, first person to answer that correctly. Like I said, wins an original Rachel Norris and some <laughs> goodies. So, so come yes. all the way up to the top. Got all the way really, to the top. We're really, just going to go back really, really simple. Finish the demonstration. Literally, again, holding. Can you see the little cross? Oh, yes, yes. All the way around. And I'll just do ah. one or two, and you can see. That's see. why you needed so much at the beginning. I did. Yeah. <laughs> so much, such a long length. Yes, of I Yes. And you can see, look, ah. there we go. And then you just all go all the way around back and you've got your little crosses. It's also, you know, strengthening it, like I said. Yes. Isn't that beautiful? Each time you do that wrap, it'll strengthen it. Fantastic. Well, the kits proved hugely popular, Rachel. Mm -hmm. You can see why with the fantastic designs. Uh, we're going to have a little look at the Wall of Fames now that have arrived. <laughs> so, uh, and then we'll find out who the winner is. And then I've got breaking news. Priscilla's kicking because something oh. news arrived on the desk. And I've, very, I've been told I'm going to get very excited about it. Did well, you, when you were talking, to say, I was making faces. I'm on Paul Martin's Handmade Revolution, yes. which is a news show on the BBC Two. TV. It's, I'm just featuring one of the episodes and I can't say exactly how I feature because it's very exciting. Yeah. Um, and it's an amazing show dealing with craftsmen and um, crafts from all different fields. So you'll learn, if you do watch it, you might be able to bring some of that into your jewellery making. What's it called again, darling? It's called Paul, Paul Martin, Martin, who does flog it and he's quite good looking. <laughs> on, um, on, was bonus. on BBC Two. Um, it's screened, due to be screened this autumn yeah. and um, it's called Paul Martin's Handmade Revolution. It's Hand a series of ten. It's a pilot show. So the more people that watch it, um, the better, because then it will do another one. And there we go. All of you might so we'll have a chance to be on it. You so we're, you're, we're, we're able to know a bit more nearer the time, but it'll be released this autumn. Mm. Let's have a look at some of your designs this week on the Wall of Fame. You first, my darling. That's fantastic bit of weaving. Oh, yeah, Who have we got? Lovely. And this is Leslie, um, who sent in an absolutely gorgeous bracelet made from silver and gold plated pirates. It's absolutely stunning. Leslie. Stunning weave. Number um, five. 
Good luck. And this is number four. Look at these for keyrings. Paula McClay. She says, loves the demos and the bargains. And uh, coming to the clay workshop, the advanced clay workshop in November. This is Elizabeth Ann Pemberton from Stourbridge in the West Midlands. They are brilliant, Elizabeth. Oh, she should just set up shop. Fantastic. Good luck for Wednesday's prize draw. Elizabeth, uh, you are number four. This is Pam in Bracknell, who's um, got Rupert to do the modelling of <laughs> uh, her necklace and earrings made from diopside clear quartz, bought with her runner-up win. My goodness. Oh. So she won the Hall of Fame and got run-up and oh, made well this with done. it. So well done. That's, I love Rupert. And this is from Christina in Gwent, a fantastic macrame bracelet. And, uh, oh, bless you, I hope you're on the, oh, you are on the road to recovery because she had an operation. Beautiful. And uh, she, 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 she watched Mark do the macrame and gave it a go so uh, the colors isn't that fun that. yeah isn't that Sorry. brilliant well done christina good luck and uh, good uh, good luck with the recovery there you are number six well we've already got a winner we've already got a winner to the answer to the question it's lorraine i hope lorraine sent in a customer number did she fantastic lorraine do we have a second name it's just our lorraine Okay, Lorraine, and the question was, the, in the US of A, it is the law that no, oil, no alloy with the gold content can be less than 10K. Yeah, Lorraine in Dumbartonshire. Germany, it's 8K. UK, it's got to be 9 carat. And they do a lot of 14 carat. They do, well. they do a lot of 14 carat, but legally, it's not above 10K. So they don't recognise our 9K, yeah. uh, the, the finest of the gold. All right, thank you, Rachel. We'll be back to you later, my darling. And uh, we'll keep a look out for uh, that fantastic new show in the autumn that Rachel's going to appear on. Oh, there's klaxons going. This is why Priscilla's... She was... I was told there was something... <laughs> I'm a baby now. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my word. That would be that would be a different start to the show, wouldn't it? <laughs> I might just give birth. <laughs> well we've already had little Freddie, haven't we? Heavens above, let us get let us get together on something that actually wasn't scheduled in the show. Ed, Ed came in with Freddy and the little minx, he didn't tell me what he was delivering. OMG, you're going to burst. <laughs> I'm going to burst. Yes, it says it on the screen already. Oh, this is amazeballs. 190 carats of my absolute favourite oh black spinel faceted cubes. They're huge. huge. I know, <laughs> seven millimetre, look at that. That's my Spinel Black bracelet, OMG. Oh, Rachel, mm. what are you going to make, the, my darling? Wouldn't this be fantastic? A lustrous, lustrous <gasps> piece, actually. Uh, that with the pearls. Mm. Oh. Well, just, oh, just... Heavens above, mm. I have died and gone to jewellery maker <laughs> heaven. I'm, oh, there won't be any of these left for me and I want one. Take one off! There's Take one off the stock. I've got to have it. I need to have this in my life to match my black mm. spinel ring that I got over six years ago. A hundred, why is this so, oh well, it's just so precious and rare. It is beautiful. These are one of the new strands that we recently went over to India to see them being hand faceted. Carol and Chloe, you know, you've seen the footage um, of her actually sitting there with one. This is one of the biggest, I've, this is the biggest I've ever seen on Jewelry Maker. This carrot weight, a hundred and, 90 carats, my goodness, we don't have this in the... It was last Tuesday I was doing on Gems TV a line of jewellery. We didn't have enough to fill the hour. The biggest piece was a necklace, and the necklace, I think... Can I just put this up to my neckline, darling? The necklace, the biggest piece was a... Was a, was a I can't remember the carat weight, but the necklace, I think, went for £149, set in silver. That's Gems TV prices. I mean, they were fantastic pieces. You were looking at an average £40, £50 for the pieces, but the biggest piece was this necklace that went all the way around the neck. It was the two colon ring, and it was £149. And, uh, and this... Oh, my word, it's on a par. That is just... That's why I've got to have it. Should we go and have a look? Have a look at Carol before I burst and have some gin. The team here at Jewelry Maker in Jaipur are constantly pushing the boundaries. And as I'm sure you can see, just by looking at these 10 strands here, really exciting brand new cuts, brand new shapes and sizes that'll be on your screens in just a few weeks. Hey, 
are going like hotcakes. And I've just been saying, Kim's going, I want one. I'm going, no, I want one. <laughs> Why? Because it is so pure. Sp uh, sp Security, noble, single refractivity. You don't get double refract. So you, if it's black, it's black. If it's pink, it's pink. If it's red, it's red. This is such a rare, the master of disguise. I always call him the Duke of the gem world. The luster is greater than the black diamonds. Forgive the repetition, but for anybody who's new to us, you won't maybe have seen this beautiful rare gemstone. Greater than black diamonds. Yes, you bet your bottom dollar it is. Because it looks, as the as the Burmese say, it is nat wee. It is spirit polished. It looks like the angels, the celestial spirits themselves have danced on the surface. And you know how great the adamantine luster of a black diamond is great well with black smell it's even greater still so each one of these just with a beautiful garnet oh my gee with the, the amethyst or the blue topaz look at the heaven with the gold that we've oh where's some gold chain somebody give me some gold chain quick i need some gold chain with our black smell we've got any gold chain just lying around just uh, from earlier oh hold on in my luxurious in my luxurious gold box in my gold box findings later on oh oh rachel Oh, the goal! I know, I know. It does, oh. 50 left! 49, one's come to Fifi. Oh, black and gold. Not just any black. That is the black gem of the entire gem world. That is a must-have. There is nothing to compare with the beauty of a black smell. Take it from me. And I know the value and the worth, because I was saying yesterday how I had a ring value that I bought for three figures off Gems TV. The valuation came back at four. And that is no word of a lie, set in yellow gold. That is my favorite piece of jewelry. And forgive the repetition of the story, but it just, oh, just seriously, this is just an amazing offer. I just, this is why I'm having kittens. This is why Priscilla's arriving. This is just, a, she isn't literally, but I think she might. Uh, she's just kicking in anticipation. Just look at this quality. You don't even have to use loads, do you? That's just so huge. Look at the way they're faceted all the way around. Beautiful. Let's do a quick count. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. There's about 23 or so individual gemstones there. And you've got the lovely sexy tassels as well. Get a bit of gold. Oh, don't even look, Rachel. It's going to offend your sensibilities, darling. Don't even look. It hurts. It's not even uh, a pound of spinel. That's just the it's silliest a, thing I've ever said. Very expensive gemstone, isn't it? I mean, extremely, it's, you know. yeah. The worth and the value, not on not on Jewelry Maker, <laughs> not even on our sister channel, Gems TV. But it is, it's, they, they, you know, these ones that are lesser known aren't necessarily, um, oh, prevalent in our minds, aren't advertised as much. You know, diamonds are one of the most expensive gemstones. Very expensive to mine, very expensive to get hold of, but prolific. They're around all the way around the world, and yet they're just held back. You know, we know that the spinels are rarer. You know, we know they're rarer than rubies. We know, we know all this rarer than sapphires. Do you know? For, for, they, they, but, but they're less known. They can't get all of them as easily, so they're just lesser advertised. This is the way the jewelry industry works. We know that. Jewelry makers, what is gem see? We're very proud to bring you the rare gems, gems you don't see every day. And we're very proud because of the way we try and source to bring you them at price points you just don't see, and the gold, and the silver, and the findings. You know, that's the theme of today's show, the gold rush. But rush on in, I promise you, you are going to just fall in love. I've never seen a chunkier strand in all the years jewelry makers been born. That seriously, that was that is tantamount to one necklace I had on that. I had enough for about 35 minutes and uh, the necklace was going in silver, 149 pounds. That's not just, just you know, dissing what I was doing because it was a fantastic bargain, beautiful, but jewelry makers, seriously, but snap your hand off for this. 19.95, oh, I might never recover. O-T-I-K, 21. There's not even gonna be one for me and Kimmy. <laughs> Oh, just make a bracelet, just make a bracelet and away we go. Make a make a beautiful wire wrap donut as you know as Oh, excuse me? It's gonna be gone in a second. <laughs> oh, I want it, I want it. I can't have it. It's no good crying. We've got to grow up. It's no good crying. Seven left, five. One for you and me, Kim. Do you think they'll notice if that sort of just disappeared? It was never here in the first place. <laughs> oh, it looks like I've got a growler. <laughs> Hairy chest. <laughs> Shall we move on to this? I need to recover. In the southern region of Brazil, just north of the Uruguayan border, lies one of the biggest discoveries of amethyst on the planet. 
Alter Uruguay Amethyst showcases not just purple hues, but stunning greens, breathtaking lavender, and delicate Rose de France Amethyst. All of the mines in the region are underground and are manned by very small teams. It takes many days to discover each geode and finally extract the beautiful amethyst hidden inside. Alter Uruguay Amethyst from Jewelry Maker. Come and join in the fun with international art clay instructor Natalia. She teaches you the basics of making personalized rings from silver clay. During the course of the day, you will learn how to create your own rings, add texture and decoration, finishing and polishing, and how to add color to your finished piece. The full course includes use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet our presenters, and have a chance to visit our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $99.95. To book your place, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Oh, welcome back. We haven't quite recovered yet. Um, now, please, everybody, well done if that was allocated to you. Don't forget to check out your baskets. Um, we've got the sky blue topaz, which I know is going to be such a hit. Yeah, just look at this. Oh, I can't wait. I can't. I am bursting. There's just no time to even talk to anybody today. And then we've also got that beautiful, genuine amethyst. I want this as well, but they're going to go like hotcakes if that black spinel is anything to judge by. Uh, we've had a bit of time to look at this, but there'll be no time to dial. You've got to be quick. Um, and also, we've also got the uh, rutile coming up that I said looks so nice for that second kit. I hope you agree. So the shapes are wicked, aren't they? We don't have to see these shapes. And it's corner drilled so that they sit on an angle, which is at a diagonal, if that makes sense, rather than... Yeah, diagonal drill, thank you. That's a much more succinct way of putting it. Um, so beautiful. The next 20 minutes and uh, that uh, very, very high-end findings gold bundle um, box as well that I've got here with loads of gold. And um, we've got a very special gold rush price on that as well. Um, now, a bit of a fun quiz question just for fun. Number four. Um, Combined, how many gold medals did Team GB win at the London 2012 Olympics and the Paralympics? Just for fun, 6077. How many gold medals in the Paralympics and combined with the, uh, the Olympics? How many gold medals did Team GB win? 6077, just for fun. We're on question number four. And then question number 10 is the one to make sure you text in for as well uh, on uh, to win something. Right, uh, okay, new bundle. A, a, a two strand pack this is this fantastic um new sort of carbonated lava rock isn't it? it's just fantastic it's actually sort of a member of the same family but it's it's very very different to the lava rock you know how porous lava rock is and even when it's um stabilized you can still see the porosity this is more like a jasper and the way that it's almost become sedimented, and the way that it's almost become, in, in many gems, calcified, as it were, carbonated. Um, so I think it looks like an African jasper or a, or a turquoise. Beautiful. Uh, but it's actually from the, the components, the sedimentary layers that actually make up your lava rock, but in a more solid, um, strengthened atomic structure. And we've also got, oh, these beautiful, the hearts. Look at these. The white hearts, beautiful. Now, can I just say, this individual strand to sell separately on Jewelry Maker is 11.95. I'm just gonna put that in your mind's eye right now because of the amazing offer I have for these two. Look at the clarity of these hearts, puffy hearts, those beautiful hearts. We only need to use two for a pair of earrings, put through that metallic gold thread. You know, if you, oh, put that with your black spinel, put that with your beautiful, white topaz so you really love so you don't even have to use loads do you those hearts are such a 
a feature right now in terms of your jewellery. Um, it's such an eye-catching standard. And then you've got that great clarity. You know, it's just beautiful. I mean, that is perfect for a romantic occasions, for the weddings, for making little charms, the bridal jewellery. We can use it in our... Uh, our hair pieces, you know, you've got such an amazing length on that strand and it's so pure. It almost looks um, as though it can't be real because the clarity is so flawless on that white quartz. Now remember, individually, this strand, and we haven't done it individually, you know, you'd be talking 11.95, but it's bundled with our fantastic heart-shaped white quartz. And just look at these, how these are cut, because the cut is important. The lobes are, you know, if you want an elongated heart, you lengthen the wings. This is your wings and your tip. The lobes, see how it's threaded right, that is center. So those lobes are perfect symmetry. These are the lobes, these are the shoulders, these are the wider parts of the heart with the cleft in the middle. So the perfection of the cut is to exacting standards. We're very proud of that here. These aren't tumble gems. These aren't just random haphazard gems. You know, beautifully polished, beautifully cut. The only way to bring out the beauty of a gem is to unlock it with the cutting then you're really going to see the intrinsic beauty of the gemstone. In this case, it's the flawlessness and that cut, that perfect symmetry, that heart-shaped cut is what's unlocking the window of light, the brilliance. You've got a lovely smooth luster there as well uh, on that uh, white quartz. And then look at the speckled patterns on that fantastic uh, carbonated lava rock. Yeah, beautiful blues, beautiful speckles, beautiful turquoises. It's, it's, it's a different slight atomic structure. To, you know how is how to explain it right graphite and diamonds are completely made of pure carbon but their atomic structure is different so that's why your diamonds are precious and you don't have a lump of graphite in your ring they are entirely made up of the atoms of just pure carbon but the atomic arrangement of their structure in diamonds is a bipyramidal structure uh, the way in which the, the atoms are glued together in a very symmetrical crystal structure means that diamonds are diamonds and graphite is very soft and dark and that's what you have in your pencils. So that is the same gemstone made up of the same atomic atoms but in a different structure. This is lava rock. It's the same components, it's the same material but atomically, we're getting a bit Bobby Ball, Johnny Ball now, atomically it's a different structure. This is firmer, this is uh, tighter, this is stronger, and this is why its appearance, like diamonds and graphite, can be so different, yet it's the same family. So I hope I've kind of given you some insight there into the explanation. Shall we just unleash the amazing Bundelicious price? Absolutely. Oh! <laughs> Just for the lava rock, and I, I hope I've explained the difference there, that smooth uh, lava rock, as it were, 11 95 11 uh, But you're getting both. You're getting that fantastic heart-shaped cut white quartz as well. God, genie. And isn't it different? Some beautifulness there. Ooh, the black spinel. I'll dream about that later on. I'm still thinking about it. Security came and that's it, I had to give it, it's not down the top still, I had to give it away. Um, 11.95, now seriously, even during make standards, just that beautiful blue strand there, that would be 11.95, but you've got the white quartz in there as well. We've got offers coming out of our ears here today and I think it's time to unleash. Do we have an answer for the combined? Nobody's got it yet, nobody's got it, so we need the answer. Text me in, we've had, a que we've had an answer of 133. We've had 173, it's not right. And we've had how much? No. No, 97 isn't right either. So combined, how many gold medals did Team GB win at the London 2012 Olympics and the Paralympics? All those answers aren't right, I'm afraid. Keep them coming. Right, let's do the brand new in Rutile Quartz. That looks so good with that second kit that Rachel had. Forgive me, I can't remember the name of it. Wild Adventure. <laughs> awesome <know>. Sun. <laughs> <laughs> Autumn sun. I'm glad you're as bad as me, Rach. <laughs> we never get given the names, you see. So oh, we're working you just get our, given the gemstones. We don't, yeah, so we get given the kits and no. Oh, um, I, I haven't got internet, so That's I can't search for it. You see, so, is it? So that was unfair. Of me. Otherwise, I would know. Do you want to have a stab? How many gold medals did we win at the Paralympics and the Olympics? Oh, oh it's saying like a million. We did so well. A million? No, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> we did do so well. We did. Not quite. Um, we haven't got the right answer yet. But let's unleash the brand new Rutile quartz. Beautiful. I mean, this is autumn already. Right up. This is autumn personified in gemstains. 
Uh, and I'm thinking again, I'm thinking with the gold. Oh, do you know what I'm thinking? Rachel's got that second bundle. Look at that with the rose gold. Oh, wouldn't that be beautiful? We're talking about the Gold Rush show today. You've got to rush in for these bargains. Very special pieces that we've put together for today's special show with our special guest, the delightful Rachel. So we need to take advantage of the fantastic offers. Now you've got rose pinks, copper gold pinks, aluminium smoky quartzes. These are rutilated as well, pure whiteness, almost like a little shade of the green of almost like crazier light. Milky peach there, milky white, honey gold, blonde yellow, like a beautiful pale ale. And I love the way those, I mean, just, oh, black there, the rutiles there, just gorgeous. I love the way um, the corner drilled. It's an exciting dynamic shape. It's a bit different, isn't it? When's the last time we saw the corner drilled gemstones in the square, the cubic squares, and this tonality, these shades of the rutile, honey blonde in there as well. We're thinking the golds, we're thinking the rose gold colors. I mean, just look at that with your rose gold yeah. chain. Beautiful. What, what, what's that, Rach? What's it's that? It's very colors. It is, isn't it? Mm. Beautiful. I love that with the rose gold. And we'll do that rose gold bundle that Rachel's got in her challenge today a little bit later on because that's one of the chains you can get there. But absolutely beautiful. And they're subtle um, autumn colours, aren't they? Because the leaves do... They do turn from that burnished gold to the subtle golds to... With a bit of frost on it, and that's what you'd oh, have, is it, yeah. I suppose. We're getting that in the morning now, aren't we? I must yeah, take my shamrock yes. in, because I fear for it. Um, <laughs> beautiful. Got a, very, a rutilated quartz, one of the most expensive quartzes as well. Oh, we've had someone that's close to the answer to the Olympic goals. Oh, we've got the correct answer. Brilliant. Just for fun, this, uh, with the question 10 being the prize winner. Claire in Lincolnshire guess right. 63. We won 63 gold medals in the Paralympics and the Olympics this year in the 2012. Well done, Claire. Brilliant. Uh, right, let's get the price in and uh, have this as our prize, if you like, in a way, because this price is a prize. 7 95 Five. That's way too long. This is one of the most expensive quartzes on the market today. And we've just come back. We've just come back from India. And can I just say, my boss, he wasn't happy. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. A, the gold price is rising. I mean, he wasn't happy when he came back from Tanzania. And the, when he was there, the prices of Tanzanite rose by 25% the week that he was there with the lovely Scott Walswell that yeah. you saw earlier. Um, do you know why he wasn't happy? Because all the gemstone prices have all gone up. Seriously, mm -hmm. seriously. He was trying to bargain for a bit of... Guns, I yeah. want to bargain for a bit of clarity, yeah, yeah. um, <laughs> but, but the prices of just everything, everything's gone up there um, at the Gemstone Fair in India there, so as well as the gold prices. So of course he's trying to barter the best for us here uh, under Gems TV Towers, but look, th these prices are not the value of the worth of the pieces, as you know, you beautiful jewellery makers. But we buy into the beauty, we buy into the quality, we buy into the luxury feel, and makes us feel, because this is why there is a market for real gemstones and the faux, but you know, the difference is with these price points, don't be buying the faux, let's have the real deal. These are gorgeous, and if you're not satisfied, don't forget with jewellery maker, 30 day money back guarantee. That's your guarantee. You can feel it, you can touch it, you can see if you love it. And if you don't, 30 day money back guarantee. 7.95 KM KM 75. Now, I'm going to set you another quick fun quiz question. Number 5 because we're halfway through the show, it need to be about number 5. Presently, and it's officially called an American RIAA certified record, i.e. a gold record in the industry. For a single album, how many units do you have to sell? So presently, what is the number of units that you have to sell to get a gold disc in America, basically, for a single or an album? How many units, how many albums, how many singles do you have to sell to be presented with your gold disc at the moment? Because it changed years ago. Uh, in 75, in 1975, it was different. But now, in Elvis's day, it was different. But now, how many do you have to sell to get your gold disc? Okay, there's your question. There is your question. Shall we do the gold bumper pack findings pack? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Oh, my darling, would you just move that for me so I can read it, darling, behind you? And uh, so I could, because there's so much in here and I don't want to miss it out. 162 pieces of gold. Oh, the deluxe gold findings kit. So this would just be never ending. This is gold on silver. Thank you, darling. 
and this is low on, I mean, look, this, this, I've got a meter of gold-plated chain. Remember what we said about those prices? It's $1,771 per troy ounce. Two months ago, $1,500, I think it was $62, $63 per troy ounce. So the price of gold has risen immensely. And this is the luxury of gold on your silver, this gold that won't tarnish, the seductive gleam and the warmth of the metal that gives it its precious charm, that we can, the malleability, we can form it into the jewelry, that rich background for the for reflection of your gems that can be so seductive and glow like firelight. So I've just picked out one of the biggest pieces here, a meter of the Vermeil gold chain. Remember actually, Vermeil sterling silver base coated chain has to be at least 2.5 microns thick. So this is an even greater thickness than gold plated chain. This is gold Vermeil and you've got a meter. So you've got an even thicker fineness of gold on your silver and you've got a meter of that Vermeil chain. You've also got a meter of your two millimeter black suede cord. You've got a real clear elastic and a reel of the gold colored thread. So I'm just thinking of your, your threading and your chaining here. You've also got, OMG, jump, I'll, I'll try and take, I'll try and go through the list because we've got so much. 15 flat gold head pins, yeah? 15 flat gold head pins. 15 gold four centimeter eye pins. 50 gold crimp beads, 50, very limited. Two large gold-plated toggle clasps. 20 gold-plated round ball beads. Four fold-over gold clasps with your gold-plated you know the, the actual ribbon cord ends? In the gold, four of those with a three and a half inch extend. Well, sorry, has it got the extender? Yes, it has. There we go. Yeah. So four of those. I haven't finished yet. Stay with me, darling. Um, you've actually got 15 gold-plated ball head pins. 20 gold-plated seven millimeter jump rings five gold-plated, large gold-plated lobster claw clasps, five pairs of shepherd hook gold-plated silver earrings, and last but not least, I've got the butterfly backs and the gold posts, five pairs of those with the posted earrings with the gold butterfly backs, that is it, that is everything. I've taken you through everything, plus your, beat, plus your box. And don't forget, very important, that meter of gold chain is Vermeil. Vermeil, which is 2.5 meters microns thick. Your gold plating tends to be 1.5 to two if the finest of the gold is 18 carat. So this is even greater thickness. It's more luxurious, just to distinguish that the Vermeil on the sterling silver base is at least 2.5 microns thick. So it can only be called Vermeil. We established what is the difference between gold flash, Vermeil, gold plating earlier. So that is a meter and it's all gold on sterling silver. That natural gold sunny that the ancients associated with the energy and sunlight that never loses its luster. You know, that is so affordable and durable now that it's gold on the silver. And this is what distinguishes, you know, your gold will keep that beautiful luster for generations. 162 pieces. Do you know what? 57.95. And you know our nine inch chain, and we've done some great price points. You're looking at about 17, 20 pounds. Do you remember? Um, I think one of the most affordable is your favorite, Kimmy, the, 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 the 15 pound, and that is nine inches. What's nine inches into a meter? I can't even work it out. That's the one for you, isn't it? Five, 10. Well, we 10, 10, we, we would have to have, so 10 times 15 five. pounds is 150 pounds. Yeah, five. So we've got a meter, yes. that's 100. Oh, I'm doing five inches, times. I'm not centimeters, it's aren't I? I'm not making times. any sense, aren't I? Um, about yeah, five times. about five times. Yeah. So Maybe if I do five more, times 15 pounds, hmm. There you go, that's, so, that's, yeah. that's 75 pounds, mm. isn't it? And I've got, that's basically yeah, what I've got. That, and this yes. is a meter, this is Vermeil. Thank you, I'm glad you can do the maths there. <laughs> 57.95.
Look at this, all of that amazing gold on silver. You're buying into the luxury, you're buying into us, bundle it all together for the savings. You, it will take forever to reach the end, but it is giving you that luxury. It is giving you that breathtaking reflection of light, that beautiful luxury and importance and the opulence and that heavy weighty beauty of the gold on the silver in your designs that can just really maximize a, the gift of the gift and also the, the making of the jewelry. Now we're just gonna take a second and then we're gonna come back with the rose gold bundle findings that we actually gave to the lovely Rachel earlier as the challenge. So this is the chance to get uh, the alloy of the copper in the gold. We'll talk more about alloys uh, in the rose gold findings bundle. And someone's answered the question correctly. Question number five, this was Lisa in Sterling, did you say? Uh, what did she say was the answer? 500,000. To get a gold record now in America, whether it's for, you've got to sell 500,000 singles or albums. In 1975, you had to sell a million. So Elvis had to sell a million. That's why he got so many gold discs. But uh, well done. Well done, Lisa. All righty. Lots more fun still to come. Rose Gold up next. Put the end of your ribbon into a point and make a crease approximately one centimeter from the top. Then place your ribbon in the ribbon end, ensuring the point is all the way back. Using your flat nose pliers, grip down firmly on the ribbon end, ensuring the teeth go through the ribbon. Busy making lows over here. Are, I'm just uh, making a bangle. This is um, gorgeous with the pearls. This is beautiful. Yeah. This is so <laughs> busy with with base. Can I can I nick that necklace? Is that all right? That one. Yeah, is that all right? Because it's the rose oh, gold. Some I some of the findings. Just wish and, it was better. Um, I rushed it. I rushed oh, honey, it so okay. quickly. Isn't this beautiful? She says this is apparently is a rush job. This is use, using the druzy and what I'm about to show you. Rachel's rush job yes. is is a magnificent piece of artistry. I wish I'd done a better job. And what's um, your wire <laughs> measurement there, darling? I used some the um, one mil wire, one but mil you could wire. use not any of the. I used the pink wire with it. But you could use copper wire with it as well. But the copper pink wire, wire um, I thought I'd try it out to see because that druzy is so beautiful. Isn't it? I just wish I'd with done a better rose. job on it for you. Uh, well, if that's a rush <laughs> job, I'd no. do you know what I mean? <laughs> Goodness me. That's, that's, that's what Rachel calls a rushed job. <laughs> <laughs> made it five minutes. You're, in, you're a mad woman. That is absolutely fantastic. I couldn't even, in my wildest dreams, I'd spend a week trying to create something like that. But that's one of Rachel's rush jobs. <laughs> hey, we're gonna, question number 10. Question number 10 is to win some of the pieces from her challenge today. So uh, it could be, could be that necklace. So that is part, the reason I show you that is because this pink druzy features in our rose gold uh, findings uh, sensation. So we've got that beautiful druzy. We've also got this nine inch rose, plate, rose gold plated um, chain as well. Now your rose gold is literally alloyed with copper and you have more copper in there so you've got your 10 karat pink druzy quartz that's 40 millimeters across nine inch of rose gold plated sterling silver so you've just got when you when you alloy gold you alloy it with silver and copper to give you rose gold so basically that is what's covering your silver and that's nine inches with the three millimeter rounds then we've actually got the jump rings as well. Now these jump rings, forgive me, I'll keep them in the box because it's just a bit easier. Um, you've actually got 50 of these and they're five millimeters. Okay, 50 of these and they're five millimeters. 50 of those. 95 sterling silver, but with a rose gold plating. You've also got, and these, this is some of the beautiful beads that featured in, in um, Rachel's fabulous rush job. Uh, <laughs> You're, you're just, oh, you're uh, but there's nothing rushed about the beauty. Look at these, these are gorgeous. And that's what Rachel's using, that fantastic pendant. And these are the beads, pack of seven, and uh, 95 rose gold plated. You get a pack of seven, the six by 10 millimeter, and that's seven of those. It, isn't it? 
isn't it? It's so complimentary yes. and warming, mm. that pink tone. Mm. I know people prefer white or yellow sometimes, but I think everybody Every suits so rose gold. you can, and then you also combine it with more of the pink, the pink, um, yeah. wild well, pink gemstones, and yeah. oh, it's absolutely beautiful. It really does bring out the colours uh, really well. And the autumn Indeed. shades, beautiful. And then we've got this beautiful three of these you get in the pattern. That's what Rachel's using on the top there. And these are our beads. And uh, these are our rondelles, pack of three, rose gold plated rondel copper beads there. And then we've also got um, our findings pack. Um, 100 pieces of rose gold plated finding so this is rose gold on the copper and uh, remember copper is what you alloy with your nine karat gold anyway and they do that alloy in to make it more durable to give it a smoother polish and uh, to make it more affordable that's the whole reason they alloy gold because actually 24 karat gold is very soft and scratches easily so if you alloy it and in this case rose gold is uh, alloyed with zinc sorry with uh, copper and silver um, 14 karat yellow gold is, is alloyed with copper silver and zinc 18 karat gold copper silver zinc green copper you know, if you want green green gold, you mix it with copper and uh, a bit more you silver. Green gold. Yeah, apparently as well, you can get um, um, hues of brown, purple as well, and gold. Gosh, yeah, we yeah. should. Um, they just put a bit more silver in it. We to should make do some of those. We should. I've never yeah. seen it actually, but mm. apparently they do. Uh, and then of course silver, the elements of um, nickel and palladium. Sorry, white gold is the elements of um, palladium and nickel or, or, or zinc. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> toy, toy, yeah. uh, so uh, your white gold is your copper, your zinc, or your palladium. So, anyway, back to my rose gold findings, I know. Beautiful. So actually, if you were to buy all these separately, almost 41 pounds, almost 41 pounds. Um, but of course, we're bundling it together. And you know, this is just an example of the beautiful jewelry you can make with that pink druzy. Don't forget the pink druzy is in there as well. Rachel, you know, just rustled this up with some lovely rose gold plated, the chain that is actually in, as you've got the, what's so lovely is you've got the gold plated, rose gold plated silver chain, the nine inch, you've got the high end, but you've also got the rose gold plated brass chain, uh, a metre of that in there as well. She's finished that off beautifully with the toggle. So we've got the, the, the lovely, precious beauty. We've got the, the, the more funky as well. And isn't that lovely with the heart toggle there as well? Just beautiful. So it's all in there. Less than 20 left. It's not gonna be 41 pounds. You know that, this is Gold Rush Day. 24.95, woohoo! Oh, she's kicking again. Priscilla likes that. Uh, the Rose Tinted Collection. This is her mommy shouting, she's so excited, isn't she? Poor, poor, poor little girl's gonna be deaf. Gonna be booming all the time. Uh, Fog, Fog C66, F-O-G C66. The Rose Gold Tinted Collection and uh, just beautiful. This is part of Rachel. So I'm only showing you a little smidgen of what Rachel's created today. We'll have a catch up with Rachel at the end. We've still got a third new kit today. And someone could win an original Rachel Norris as well uh, with our third uh, question as well. So uh, fabulous, fabulous. Should we do a new three strand pack? Yes, let's do it. Let's do it, darling. Let's tidy things away. Okie dokie. Oh, do you know what? This look lovely with the rose gold because there's these beautiful autumn pinks. Just, this would look, oh yeah. This would look lovely with rose gold. Just, and actually look lovely with that. Do you know that, that, that lovely Rutile Quartz? So let me just put it in your mind's eye there. If I just pop that there, can you see why I say that? I'm not just saying it for a sales point of view. I, I'm just looking at it, I genuinely mean it. Can you see why I say that? Yeah, isn't that lovely? Beautiful. Shall we have a fun question number six? In 1981, the song Golden Brown, Texture Like Sun, was released by what band? I really fancy the lead singer. Huh? It's one of my favourite songs. Is it one of your favourite yeah. songs ever? Yeah, I tried singing it karaoke though and it was dreadful, so <laughs> it's got mixed, Rachel, mixed feelings. Rachel, it doesn't stop me, I'm always singing on the show, <laughs> it doesn't stop me, I'm dreadful, but I just like that a go. <laughs> there you go. So Rachel sang it at karaoke and she said she was, I'm sure she wasn't. <laughs> Who? It's one of her favourite bands, and the lead singer. Well, he used to be <laughs> Hugh Cornwall. Used to be the lead singer. I've seen them in. Yeah, I've seen them in live as well. You've so. seen them live. Yes. There we go. Who was it? Just for fun. Text us in. Let's release the brand new three strand pack: the pink grain jasper, the crackle quartz, and um, our, our lovely chocolatey. I always call it the Neapolitan jasper. But can you see why I thought that lovely rutile quartz 
would look fantastic with these. The colors are just bob on, aren't they? Anyway, just a thought. Still got the topaz to release, still got the amethyst, still got to have our Q&A with Rachel. Hope you're sending in your text questions. Hopefully we'll do that around midday. Yeah. That's fine. Although, I'll just, I'll just think up some questions if we don't. They're all too busy playing the quiz. This is fantastic, they're all too busy watching and buying, which is what we want, essentially. Uh, pink, this is, this is such a pretty pink. It's really warming. Can you see why I jumped to the conclusion of perhaps rose gold chain? Yeah. Isn't that lovely with, the, with that 10 by 13 millimetres? And you've got that layering in there. Then my Neapolitan brown jasper, because I always think Neapolitan ice cream, because you've got strawberries and chocolates and vanillas in there. Isn't it? It's like caramel. Did you like all three, or would you just go for the vanilla, or did you like the chocolate, or would you just go for the strawberry? Um, I would definitely go, as a child, I go for the chocolate. Yeah. And now I'm, I like all of them, so it's fine. I like did you all mix, the flavors. Did you mix them all up? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did all that. <laughs> there we go. There's always somebody has a favorite, and then you have loads of the other one left over. And, and then, then you sort of grow, out, grow out of just loving chocolate, because then you learn to like all the other flavors as That's well. That's so. This is true. <laughs> this is true. If you're my Jed monster, anything goes. <laughs> Uh, and it, as long as it's ice cream. The Jasper coins are 14 millimetre, beautifully polished to really showcase again the lovely patterning you're getting in those gemstones. And then the fantastic crackle quartz are 10 millimetres, faceted rounds. Now this is a very exclusive three strand pack and an exclusive gold rush offer, less than 40 in stock now because you're brilliant, you're beautiful and you're fabulous jewellery makers and I don't want you to miss a second of the show. Uh, if you were to buy these separately, you know what Kimmy's like, she's, she's uh, what do I call you? You're Zorro. You're the Zorro of jewellery maker. She's slash crazy. That sounds awful, doesn't it? She sounds like some kind of horror figure. Um, we could call you Slash, but I think that's already been attributed to a well-known heavy metal band. Um, so she's Zorro. Uh, <laughs> OPGC81, Freddy Krueger on the side. I'll be giving people nightmares. You know, you're far too pretty to be Freddy Krueger. It's true. So let's release. It's not going to be £20 today. Oh, excuse me, 11 dollars that's some four pounds a strand, fantastic, God, gee. That's, a, that's fantastic because basically, you know that uh, Rutile Quartz for 7 95 To buy these, you know, you're talking 90 pounds. So there's our, there's our eight pounds. That's the pink tones and that. Wouldn't it? Cubed, uh, those cubes. Just beautiful, that's just that's beautiful, so isn't beautiful. it? That's just ready to go. Four strands mm. for under twenty pounds. Interesting today. shapes as well. It's yeah. nice to work with interesting. It is the shapes, shape, isn't it? It's the mm. patterns. It's optically how they look, visually feel. And yes, yeah. with those um, corner drill cubes, you can put jump rings in between them um, mm. to fill them out, and in, you could do that in copper wire or, or even Ooh. cut the chain up and yeah. um, pop that in between. Lovely um, as, as spaces. Beautiful. Eleven ninety-five. Has anybody texted in the answer to Rachel's favourite band, or rather, who sang Golden Brown in 1981? Who is it? Joe and Newton Abbott have said The Stranglers. There we go. Well done, Joe. You're brilliant. All righty. We've got coming up next. What's that? A new kit, the third new kit. So we'll have our third demonstration from Rachel. We'll have our third quiz, well, our question that could mean at the end of the presentation you win some pieces of a Rachel Norris jewellery and uh, we'll throw in a scoop there and some other goodies but I'll set you with a little uh, fun quiz question number seven what is the name of the actress that starred in the films Death Becomes Her The Banger Sisters and First Wives Club that's just for fun leave you with that text into 60777 and we're going to have a Q&A with Rachel later on as well any questions you've got for her send it to JM Studio and we're going to release the third new kit up next You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Take a length of wire roughly four inches long. Using your round nose pliers, make a right angle approximately two centimeters from the top. Rotate the wire back towards you and slightly overlap the wire, then cut off any excess. Turning the wire round, hold the wire with your round nose pliers approximately 2 cm from the loop you've formed. Then bend the end of the wire towards the loop. Again, snip off any excess.
Using your flat nose pliers, kick out the end of the wire. New to Wirework? Why not come and join us in our Wirework for Beginners course? Join guest designer Louise Jacobson as she takes you through all the basic techniques of using wire. People would benefit from coming on the Wirework course uh, because it's an ideal opportunity to actually experiment without feeling the pressure of actually um, buying things and then not knowing how to use them straight away. You will learn a variety of skills which will help you to become more confident when using wire in your jewellery. During the course of the day, you'll get to have a backstage tour of the studio, meet the presenters and have a trip to our jewellery shop. The full course includes a selection of colours and different gauges of wire, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, use of all relevant tools, lunch and refreshments, all for just $69.95. For details on course dates and availability, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Come and join the fun with guest designer B Morrison as she guides you through the basics of using GemArt. During the course of the day you will learn how to use the GemArt kit, how to create different looks and effects, demonstrations on gluing and outlining and how to create your own GemArt piece. The full course includes a gem art kit and extra picture frame, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and a chance to meet the presenters, and take a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just £69.95. To book your place, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. It's our third new kit today. Now, have we had any texts to that question number seven? Who, who's got it right? Who was the actress that appeared in the films? The Banger Sisters, Death's Become Her, and um, The First Wife's Club. Sarah. OK, we don't know where Sarah is, but uh, she answered Goldie Horn, yeah? Sarah, well done. And well done, everybody who texted in. You didn't know, Tom. Well done. Well, that was question number seven, but number 10 is the one you've got to text in for because that's the prize that you could win, which will be some jewellery from the challenge today that Rachel will pick and a scoop and lots of goodies. We'll just throw in some extra goodies. I'll have a rummage later. So uh, let's introduce our third new kit. You can already see some of the jewellery that we're going to show you. And uh, one of the demonstrations is going to be the butterfly. This is called uh, cho chocolate fondant. This is my producer's so new jewellery makers, you've got everything in this kit that you need to get started. The findings, the threading materials, the gemstones. And this is, a, as, as our regulars will tell you, it's a great starting point with, with which to start. We'll give you our free DVD, our free booklet, our hub magazine about courses that you can join us here on. We have the tutorial every morning between 8 and 9 o'clock for beginners. There's YouTube, as Rachel said earlier. There's tutorials on our website as well. You can physically come in and do tutorials with us here as well at Jewelry Maker. So let's show you the chocolate fondant jewelry kit. It's the rose gold. We've had the yellow gold findings, haven't we? Yellow gold plated findings. This is the rose gold findings. And uh, this is our 190 carats of the smoky quartz 12 millimeter puffy coins, okay? You've got 100 carats of that beautiful, pretty lavender amethyst. And you've also got those exquisite white cultured pearls, eight millimeter. Now, we've got organza ribbon, 10 metres in the purple, 10 metres in the fuchsia pink. And because we've got the ribbon, we've got the sterling silver cord ends. But here's the difference. You've got two sets of ribbon, so we've got two sets of cord ends. You've actually got eight, eight sterling silver cord ends. You know how if we have 10 ribbons, we have four, you've got eight of these. So that is a big silver bundle, so there's eight of those sterling silver cord ends there, okay? Eight of those. Then you've also got your beading thread and your clear elastic. You've got your fuchsia pink organza bags, 
and you've got 10 of those raspberry pink organza bags, okay? Plus your purple and your black organza bag. Something which is key to a lot of Rachel's designs is the memory wire. And you've got 14 coils of the steel bracelet memory wire. Can I just show you through some of the pieces Rachel showed me? So we've got the memory wire used in the heart with a lavender amethyst. We've got the memory wire used, if we can go over here, darling, in the bracelet, this coiled drop bracelet. So there's different ways to use the memory wire. We've got the memory wire threaded through the pearls on this ribbon organza pearl necklace, just around here. We've used the memory wire, oh, she says, and threaded it through. Um, what do you, how did you describe that ribbon? Hemo braid, which um, I think JM are going to be stocking this sort of disc soon. Ah, oh, that's right. Um, do you want me to bring okay. it over? Or, that's yes. okay, darling. Yeah, please or, do. Yeah, yeah. Come on, do you want me to bring it over here? And the this Makume, is um, Kumi Hemo yes. Kumi Hemo disc. It comes from a Japanese. And you have one of these yeah. discs, and you put it onto a. You knock the ribbon onto what um, I've just made a, a clasp, and, and then uh, you just weave. And we're um, hoping to issue these slow. Yes. Shortly, but we've used the memory wire through this because it's a hollow tube as you weave. Yes, you can thread or have a wire through the middle of it, and then you can bend it into different shapes that you want to bend it into. And that's why I wanted Which to show you garnet. can use that with um, with we can use that with the memory wire. You can also double up the memory wire into into layers if you like, and do three um, fixed together by beads all the way around. You can also using pliers bend it into a shape. Like the, like heart. the heart. This and is what we want to show, isn't it? Yes. In different ways. Yes, so you can use it. So you don't yeah. use, just use it as a as a coil bracelet. You can use it in lots of different ways. You just have to make sure you cut it with the strong The strong cutters. cutters, yeah, otherwise you'll ruin your snippers. So there we go. Thank you, Rachel. And we will be in Makumagame. It's from an old Japanese art form of um, yes. mixing and layering it's precious kumi, metals kumi, and sword kumi making. Remember, certainly <laughs> right. I'm not thinking about to be exam, I'm sure it's that. Sword making. It's an old Japanese, and then they layer all the precious metals. Well, it's actually the braiding for the, the bra swords. For the braiding for the swords. Uh, so it's kumihimo. Oh, that is, I was thinking of the oh, yes, I was thinking of is the, is the, um, the layering of the layering metals. Layering of the metals. Which which maybe uses in polymer. Right, right. the braiding. And it's the braiding, but the Japanese do also use it because it's the braiding for the swords and, and their armour. They'd have these braids made out of. Thing, so, yeah. There we go. I've got the difference now. I'm thinking of Makumigame, <laughs> yeah. and it's not Makumigine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, there's a file in there. I didn't know that, so thank you very much. We know now. Uh, so, and let's have a look at the rose gold plated uh, uh, findings as well. So, to buy this kit with all the separate components, it would cost you almost £40. All the separate, if to add up all these individual, I'm talking jury maker prices here, okay? So to add up all these individual components, the three strands, the pearls, the lavender amethyst, the smoky quartz, eight sterling silver ribbon cord ends, 14 coils of the stainless steel memory wire, 10 raspberry pink organza uh, bags, um, the clear elastic, the beading thread, 10 meters of the fuchsia pink organza ribbon, uh, 10 meters of uh, the actual fuchsia, sorry, purple organza ribbons, because they're all one meter lengths each and wouldn't the rich, beautiful, um, high-end amethyst look gorgeous with this as well? Because you've got the lavender and the rondelles there. So 40 pounds to buy them all separately, not today. Oh, Rachel, the most affordable kit of the day. And they've all been brilliant. They've all been great value. And this is what we're gonna show you how to make, the butterfly. Yeah, which you can make out the kit. Now, all that Rachel's added, and we're going to do in a moment, a wire bundle offer. Well, separate wires, prices that they shouldn't be, because we've got the 0.6 gauge in our other kits, but we're going to do some of the gauges. What, what's that, that darling? I thought I got 0.6. No, no, one. I don't think there is a wire in it. Can we double check? Is there a, 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 a in wire one. in there? No, not in this one. Not in this You're one, no. Right. But that's no, okay, because sometimes we have it in our I stash. I added the wire in that one. That's yes. all right. I don't mind. That's all so right, confused. darling. It's my fault. It is, it is your skill, <laughs> so I, I'd be... I'd be, I'd be disappointed if I didn't see some wire in there, quite frankly. <laughs> that's the only bit of naughtiness that snuck in. But let's go see Rachel, let's do this butterfly. And then I will do uh, a wire offer anyway, so don't fret. And if you've got one of the other kits, you've probably got 0.6. Did you use 0.6 on the butterfly, by any I chance? I used 0.6 you... and 1. And I was going to show you this as well, because oh, it's, a, a, yeah. it's an extension it's of it. so fabulous. And um, these flowers, which are um, an extension of it as well. These flowers, you can ah. put um, beads in the middle of them. Um, and you cut the organza bags up. Yes, yeah. just simply that. And because it's gold day, I thought I'll go for, for gold. 
in all of that. So now so the butterfly is an extension of the flower, so you can make both using the same technique. It won't be that different to yeah, extend it into I'll the I'll hold up, so when we get the flower. camera on, we can have a little look at that, Rachel. Right, Thank so you. I'm going to make up so the... show the butterfly, but this is what Rachel was just talking about. Um, yeah, so it's a similar principle um, in terms of Just forming the, the, the leaves and or the wings. Also and then just you just make just, just make a lot more and then loop them all around each other to form the Isn't the flower amazing? and the cut ends of the bags then I used to hide the oh, edges the of the rows yeah, um, and the just t just pull them together and then just hid the back of it because some of the wire work at the back is a bit messy so you can use the tops of the bags just to hide that and those are great you can put them on hair combs and fascinators and things like that along with your gemstones um, to, and it's quick. You can do wire work roses, and I do wire work roses, but they take a long time right. to do. Right. These are quite quick to do. Right, lovely. So, so and it's the butterfly here. we're going to look at. And you can also use some of the wire meshes on the website as well. You've got wire mesh um, in tubes that you can use to make the roses. So, but you've got so many, that's so many organza bags. Right. Okay. So I'm going to make the the wings first, I think, and then we'll make the body. And all of that. So, starting off with a sort of about a, a metre of wire. Again, I've used probably too far too much, but again, I'd rather, you'd rather use too much than not enough. And the, the thickness, sorry, did I miss I'm that? I'm using the one millimetre, but you can, okay. you can get away with 0.8. You can get away with 0.8. So, forming the first either petal or wing, um, and form a loop and then twist, and then wrap a little bit round. To, um, I want a little gap to fit behind the body, or the, enough to fit a bead in between. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm going to take that away, I don't need that for the minute. Forming another, sorry, move right out at an angle, forming another wing, these are the top wings, about the same size. We'll shape them in a minute, because the loops form naturally, and then you can shape them afterwards. Twist, you form that wing, come down, ready to form another and don't worry if it's loose because um, you can when you're binding you can you can either you can bind 0.6 to it I'm actually going to do another little wrap just to make sure that's secure sorry this sorry everyone so there's the wing sorry Lots of, lots of sorries at the moment. Don't you say sorry, because basically what we're trying to do is just demonstrate the technique. Yeah, and because we know it. when you're at home, you just have a bit more time and you can take a bit more, you know, time over, get it yeah. all perfect. But and for the principle of uh, seeing the technique, bottom that's what wing, we need. Bottom wing, bottom wing, and then hold your fingers on it and twist it. That's what it is, is the, the wire is so warm in the studio, it behaves yeah, in a totally course, different way course, to yeah. at home. And then and the other bottom wing, quite simply, it's smaller, so yeah. just make it smaller and twist. And then we're more or less done. Just going to wrap that round just to secure and get rid of it. So that'll I'll use that to bind around the body in a minute. So I've got far too much, so I'll take some of that away because it just gets okay. in the way. Okay, so form the wings. Don't. So we've got the wings, basic shape. Now what I want to do is put the organza onto the the butterfly and so I've cut a bag up um, and basically if you pull it apart it falls out like this and you can probably get um, f three wings maybe out of one bag so one and a half bags makes um, uh, one butterfly and I found that three bags made three big flowers they're big flowers right. so what I'm doing is first of all I get some 0.6 wire and I'm going to secure it around a lot slightly longer length security around the wings and oh. this will help anchor those little knots oh i see tight all together yeah it's because... proven very popular rachel because we've only got about 20 of these kits left okay. is it any wonder and what i want create? to do is make sure that i wrap it around so it's this, it's coming up at the same at the base of the wings each time because i want to have form a spiral at the end so each of these two wires i put it in the middle one is at the base and one at the top will come out at the base of the wing, just so that I can put the spiral the same same direction. Don't, don't get wonky. So, bringing the back or the base of the organza to the back of the wing, pull this over. You have to pull quite firmly because you've got to make sure the back doesn't drop away 
from the front of the wing. And then use the, the wire to wrap quite tightly, but be careful because the organza can, can tear. What I should have done was shake those wings. I'll show you how to shake the wing in a minute because I should have shaked them before I actually put the organza straight on there. Um, and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap. And then just leave a little tail to put a loop on, mm -hmm. a coil on in a minute. So I got rid of that. And then just use the base to do the other. Oh, and then snip off. Snip off the remaining organza and then you can carry on to do the next wing. You see how quickly that was? And you've done a wing and it yeah, would take you, yeah. you know, an hour, you know, 45 minutes to, to wire wrap it yeah. in the same way. So it's quite nice just to speed it up a little bit if you're making a lot of pieces very quickly in a certain colour. It doesn't matter about this fluffiness because it adds quite a little bit of fluffiness to detail to butterfly. Now what I should have done was shown you how to shape the wings because you can see I put a little kink in yes. each of the wings. Yeah. And what you do is squash at the end, squash so it's flat and then kink in the middle. Oh. I mean, we could do either or, we could yeah, keep exactly. them sort of overly or exactly. kinky or... It's a little bit of shape though, gives that little bit of extra you know, work on it, a little bit of detail, it doesn't take that long to do, and look how different it looks to that round one. Mm -hmm. So basically use the organza on all the other wings, and I've got a one I made earlier, Blue Peter style. <laughs> there we are. One already halfway through. One already yeah. made. And then what I'm doing is putting two spirals at the base, so I'll quickly do that, and then we'll just bind it to the body. So again, using the round nose pliers. So you can see how that fluffiness in the middle, actually it's quite pretty, it doesn't, sort of, doesn't matter if you've got a little bit of rough end of organza, it helps to hold it in the wire. Using the loops and round nose plier, loops and round nose plier, use the flat nose plier just to create these spirals. And that little bit of fluffiness in the centre of the body adds a bit of detail, actually it's almost, that's quite how like a little in, in butterfly yeah. looks, they're quite fluffy little creatures yes, when you actually exactly look at them quite like it. Um, close up. So I'm making that spiral, again spirals, I've used those spirals all the time. I suppose it's just a lovely universal detail and press it up into the wing. I'll just quickly do the other one. I'm, I'm this is the technique we showed earlier, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Cool. So, you know, and, I, and it's something we use all the time. I perhaps should have only left one to do, so I apologise for that, for the timing. Well, this might not be as beautiful, so I'll redo it later. We can see, you know, the technique. Yeah, technique. Now, it's getting very limited in stock, this kit, so, you know, don't forget to check out on the web, your beautiful web buyers, and don't forget to... Um, oh, press it up. So you've got, your, you've got the two, the four wings, oh, yes. all beautifully Over. ready to bind the body. Now, we've got to put that aside, because we're going to make the, make the body up next. Mm. You see, like that. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do our, attach our pearls. These are the pearls. So, um, from earlier, are they yes. the pearls from earlier, darling? No, they're in um, this. Oh, they're in this kit. Yes, of course they are. So you sorry, see, I just separated sorry, them away darling. Yes, of course they because are. I've also used them um, in the in the Catan stage. I wanted to yes. combine the shapes of pearls that from all the kits and everything today. Yeah. Um, now to make the body again a universal spiral, <laughs> spiral at the at the base of the wing, at the base of the tail. So your Helps your wire detail. actually went through these pearls and the point six wire went through them right. very well. Know. Right. And um, that's what um, was was brilliant. Um, if you want to use your rema, and you've got to be a bit careful with pearls because you, they can disintegrate if you yeah. do too much to them. Yes, you've got to look after and them. And what I'm going to do is use some wire to strengthen up the body uh, by doing that wire wrapping technique. You know, I try to combine techniques that we yes, used all the way through the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that will actually strengthen the body up. Now, if you've got a hammer and a block, and I think I don't know whether they're still in stock. Just tap that spiral just to work hard on it. It doesn't take much of a little tap and it just makes it much more rigid. Now I'm going to put the little top on. And I'm going to, you can use, just use a loop, but I'm going to put, use a, a bale through. And the idea, I mean, it'd be nicer to use slightly stronger wire, but 0.6 is all right if you then st strengthen it. Right. So wrapping around the top. Leave that. I don't think I need it quite yet. So what I'm going to do is just add the wings now. So we've got the body made. We've got the wings made earlier. And I've got one long end and one short end because I want to create some antennae um, out of the out of one end and wrap round and then create the antennae with the other end. 
Okay. What I'm just going to quickly do, which I forgot to do, is quickly wrap around the body just to strengthen it. Remember, we're like using 0.6 wire, yeah. yes. So Our we need to. Today, wasn't it? That's right. We need to strengthen that connection between because. And the tiger's eye don't. And this, this adds, adds to the strength of the piece. Yeah. So I've done, I've done that very quickly through. And that makes the body far more rigid. You'll, no you'll notice as you do it how much more rigid it'll be. And then you can wrap that bale a little bit more because I want to wrap it and hide, hide the, the ends of the, of the wire. So what I would do is just spend a bit of time to wrap up the, up the bale. Okay, let's get that off. Okay, so now attaching the wings mm -hmm. to the body. Taking to the. This is always a little bit sort of. Oh, am I going to get it right? But the butterfly bodies aren't longer than the wings, basically, and dragonfly bodies are. So if you want right. to create a dragonfly, you make those wings longer, and the body a bit longer. But yeah. the butterfly is as long as the wings. So. Right, this is the bit where you, I just want this to go right. Bring the the one mil or eight point eight mil mil wire round the body and it should secure it nicely. Now this will tend to rotate in place so what I want to then do is just come up and fix these antennae in place. So I'm pressing up behind the body and I'm going to snip this into place and I'm going to use some more 0.6 wire to bind those antennae at the back and then this whole body won't rotate anymore. So a little bit more 0.6 wire. I could have used the bale wrap again because I forgot and I could have used the bale wrap to do that. Just wrap around the pieces of wire at the back and I can also travel around with that to the back of the butterfly and obviously tidy all this up afterwards. So now I've, I've um, Secure that into place. Okay. It's done. That, that I'll tuck away and tidy away nicely. You can even attach a brooch pin to that if you liked, instead of a bale. And the last, the final detail is to squirrel down the antennae. Make sure these wires are the same length. You can add little eyes, you can add, you can, you know, add different de gemstone details, you can wire wrap on, you can, instead of using your ganza, you could use wire wrap ring wings, you know, if you want to. It's just a quite nice way of using your ganza, um, and it's quick and easy for doing wedding, big, big, fast pieces that you need to get ready quickly. Yeah. Um, again, using the flat nose pliers just to um, bring those down. It's a slightly messier version of the original one, but you can see the techniques and spend a bit more time at home just making this neater. Yeah, this needs tidying up at the back, of course. But we can see the essence. But you can see, basically, that's that's what it is. And then on to the organza yeah. ribbon. Yeah. There. Beautiful. Absolutely there beautiful. That's Gorgeous. It. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, uh, it has been going like hotcakes. Fantastic yeah. demonstration. Um, and I'm going to set a question. So, in order to win an original Rachel Norris from this kit, we'll choose a piece. Um, and we'll uh, throw in a scoop and some other goodies. Um, but the question is, what is plum gold? What does the expression plum gold mean? First person to text into 60777. We're just going to have a quick look at your wall of fames, OK? So that'll give us time to get the answer. What is plum gold 60777? Let's have a look at the wall of fame. I guess it is. Um, Carol Fox has um, made a beautiful um, necklace and earrings of square, square cubes, seed beads of turquoise, and, um, silver rice beads, and uh, she's the first time she's used seed beads, and it took her ages, but well done, Carol, it's beautiful.
Lovely. Well. Fantastic. And this is number 19. This is Pauline in Leeds. She's got her mojo back and she's using the Mystic Hematites, which she's had for ages, um, but uh, she, she wasn't quite sure what to do. So uh, well done, Pauline. Good luck on Wednesday. You're number 19. Oh, love, love that, that rainbow, rainbow hematite. hematite. Goodness me. Isn't lovely. that beautiful? And you've kind of sorted yeah. it or something. The Organza Ribbon's fab. Um, Emma and Gary have sent in a wonderful um, Indian summer collection. Um, it's her very first gold-plated jewellery set. She normally only uses silver, but she loves it with the beautiful citrine and carnelian. Um, and she made a beautiful, beautiful set. Okay, number 18 is Joanne. Uh, Joanne Weatherby, Jasper Bracelets, and uh, well done. Uh, good luck for Wednesday's prize draw. Joanne from Weatherby. Number 18, over to Rachel. And Alan Fox, who's, who makes uh, beautiful animal creatures. Oh, Alan! And, yes, um, and also similar to the white quartz drops that we you had on earlier on. She's, he's, oh, he's is used, it? Um, yeah, the, the crackle quartz, um, similar shape to make a beautiful droplet necklace. That is uh, fan absolutely lovely. fantastic, Alan. Absolutely fantastic. We'll read out a couple more later on, uh, but I'm going to get ready for an absolute wire extravaganza right now. And uh, yeah, we'll save these four for a bit mm. later. I know, just mm. look at this. Oh no, it gives my work. Uh, so uh, don't forget, what is plum gold to win an original Rachel Norris? And uh, we'll throw in some scoops and some extras as well. But uh, first person to text in on 60777. We've also got to have our Q&A with Rachel. So if you've got any questions, that's coming up next. But I'm going to do some extravagant price cuts on some wire bundles over there. And uh, we can't wait to find out when uh, Rachel will do in the near future okay. a wire work um, course with us. Yeah. Yes. So see you on the other side of this. The Jury Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jury designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jury Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jewelry making. Jewelry Maker is such a fun channel to watch. Even if you're not buying anything, um, the presenters and the guest designers are absolutely fabulous. Um, I also love it because it's given me um, a common interest with my sister. We live a long way apart and we are very completely different in our outlook on life um, and we now have something that we can converse with um, and we both enjoy. Come and join in the fun with international art clay instructor Natalia Coleman as she teaches you the basics of making personalised rings from silver clay. During the course of the day you will learn how to create your own rings, add texture and decoration, finishing and polishing and how to add colour to your finished piece. The full course includes use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet our presenters and have a chance to visit our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just $99.95. To book your place, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. So we're still waiting for our text answer on 60777 to win the Rachel Norris jewellery. Uh, some pieces that we're going to pick out, some scoops and some extras. Uh, what is plum gold, okay? Um, right, we've got the topaz, we've got the amethyst, we've got the wire. Should we have a quick look at the topaz and the amethyst still to come? And I've got to say, Belinda O'Shea, you are a very naughty lady. 
I'm going to have to ring you and have a conversation with you, Belinda. You are amazing. I can't thank you enough. Um, but I honestly, I will return. Well, anyway, we'll have conversations. Belinda, I love you. Absolutely love you. That's all I'm saying. I shall be speaking to you after the show if you're in. If not today, then another day, definitely. Did we get the answer? Do, but have we got somebody that's given us the answer? It's no good me giving the answer and then waiting for... <laughs> do, do, Well, I can give you this. Sheet. All right, then, darling. Tommy can run it in. Shall we do the wire? No, it's not on that. That's the fun quiz you've got. This is just my uh, three extra questions. Let's 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 unleash the wire. Let's unleash the wire. Big pink reel because this is what Rachel integrated as well. Um, I know it was the lighter pink uh, with the uh, lovely pink druzy in that in that lovely rose gold um, lavish bundle that you had the saving. So this is our bright pink. This is our one millimeter, hundred meters, and I'm sure Rachel will tell you as well. These spools they go on and on and on. They're absolutely brilliant. She's there saying she's looking around, busy beavering away. They go on and on and on. So remember, this is your silver plated. So as we were saying earlier, silver plated, you know, you've got to have the silver thick enough to provide a durable covering on the precious metal, which is the copper there. So your precious metal, sorry, is your silver and your base metal is your copper. So we've got a very special offer on this. So, shall we unleash? We've got a very, now the normal prices that we have on these, and we have got the baby pink as well coming up. Okay, so this is what, darling? And this is what, darling? Yeah, but what did you say before that, darling? I think quite. Yes, okay. So we, we will give the pink one as well, the baby pink one in a moment, but let's uh, just stick to, and we're gonna have the gizmo. 100 meters, it's just gonna last you so, 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 so long. Here we go. 24.95, yeah. I mean, how long does 100 meters last you, Rachel? Uh, <laughs> I mean, not as long as some, but it, it, oh, well. it, that's the one that lasts the most because you use it for frames and frames. It, doesn't, it goes a long way. Whereas the point, point 0.6 and point 0.8, I go through more. Because um, you're wrapping and, wrapping and, and you're using doing more of it. Yeah. So that point, that um, one mil, it'll last for a long, long time. This is where we'd yes. get our torque shapes and our bangle shapes and, you know, get mm. our strength and. Yes, strength of frames, um, necklaces for um, bracelets. Um, bangles and anything that requires a lot of daily use of wear, the one yeah. millimetre wire will stand up to that. Very about 100 metres, so 24.95, a great staple, brilliant offer. And we've got the baby pink as well. Let's go on to the red, because this is so Christmassy. This is the beautiful red. And this is 0.8. Now, again, if you're starting with your wire work, I'm sure Rachel will agree uh, that 0.8 probably is the one, the most versatile of them all because they all have their specific gauges for their specific uses as you've seen Rachel working with today and me asking her you know will that size go through a gemstone what's it good for point eight is probably the one that most people start with because it can do a bit of both it's got the strength but it's still got the malleability yes. now this is one you're actually going to see at a incredible gold rush price so this is your red colored silver plated copper wire now this should be coming to you at 19.95 okay but Especially for today, look at those reds, those fantastic reds. Wouldn't that look first, with that first kit today, with that red pearl, beautiful. Yay, five pounds off, we can put that towards the topaz, we can put that towards our amethyst. Still haven't got the correct answer on what is plum gold. I have, I'm gonna be a bit more specific about this. I've got sort of, mm, I've got one that's almost near, but not quite, not quite. Almost, I might have to give it to that person if uh, I don't get uh, the, the uh, what is plum gold. So five pounds off though, 90.95 normally, uh, this fantastic 100 meters of the 0.8. Brilliant, isn't it? 0.8, five pounds off, woohoo! Let's put it towards 100 meters of our 0.8 chartreuse. Now we know this color is super, super hot. Isn't the 0.8 versatile, Rachel, um, isn't it? Yes, I, um, I, you can use it for, it's a, as a strong link, as a strong clasp as well earring um for earring 
a hooks and finding as well. Through, yeah, you creating your own them. shepherd hooks. Yeah, and that, that colour, um, it, it goes it? with, um, it's, it's beautiful and fresh. And I also colour combine, so I will often wrap that up and twist it up with the antique bronze or Ooh. with the pink or with the copper. And mm. if you twist that up or plait it or do anything, it'll just take that tone if you're really worried about all on, full on green, yeah. you can take it back whereby twisting and plaiting it with the antique bronzes or golds or the pinks or other colours and, yeah. and, and the colour combinations is a favourite thing. It's the colour in your top with the purple amethyst. Yes, it's really in this season. Yes, it's very much in for autumn. <laughs> Limes exactly. and purples. Point eight, hundred metres, the, the in colour, the chartreuse colour. Beautiful. And uh, let's give you a fantastic price point on this, yeah? <laughs> Should be 1995, but for 100 meters, we gave you the red for 1495. 1295, so we can get this is something Rachel has made. This is what I should describe in wrapping the chartreuse with the antique bronze, which I will bring you in a moment, and the gold. And look at the difference how it just takes it down, but it just lifts it as well. And then she's got some beautiful shell pearl there as well. So that wonderful talk, isn't that beautiful? 1295, should be 1995. 12.95 so isn't that beautiful fantastic gorgeous i'm glad you did as well darling yeah <laughs> now should we do the uh, the antique the copper one yeah let's do the copper because this fits in so beautifully with our rose gold don't forget these are gold rush prices as well for today and today only these offers are only till nine o'clock tomorrow and you've got one postage packaging price till midnight tonight for anything you're and anything you're creating in your own bundle you know you're only paying one pp for the day one postage packaging price for the day now this is point four so we're doing a bit more wrapping with this aren't they we're creating a bit more intricacy yes. Now, point four I use for the delicate wrapping on this, say on this like dragonfly wings wing. on your dragonfly you can wear really, it. really, delicate that's wrapping. beautiful. But you see, it's strong as well in strength in numbers. The more wraps you do, um, it'll build up and build up its strength. So don't worry about 0.4 being fragile or no. something, because the more wraps, it becomes very, very strong. And we want to see the fragility. If we're creating a lovely wing on a dragonfly, it looks we delicate, want the fineness of the but wire. But it's still don't very we? strong. But yeah. you can also bend. I can bend this into a shape if I wanted to, because you can. Um, there's quite a lot of techniques where you can, um, and Laura again shows these things, where you wrap between two wires and you can bend the whole thing round, all the wraps, and 0.4 is ideal for that sort of thing. There we go. And we're going to give you a gold rush pr uh, price on this, so you can try it out, try out those techniques. And don't forget, if you want to come on one of our courses, um, where's, oh yeah, yep, yeah, there we go. We've got as well, start of October, uh, we've got our wire work uh, course for beginners Tuesday the 2nd of October and then silver clay rings on the 3rd of October with Natalia so uh, we can actually get stuck in get our wire and then come on the course on the 2nd of October that's next Tuesday 3rd of us ring the course center if you want to know about more about those courses so they're in the hub magazine which we give you for free so let's give you a gold rush price 9.95 taking money off you today under 10 pounds brilliant Okay, lovely turquoise colour next. Again, this is... Um, oh, actually, this is my royal blue, darling. This is one millimetre. I haven't got a turquoise, honey, no. That, do the blue. Because, again, another, another extra for the autumn as well. Um, another great colour, I should say. Those chartreuse and the royal steely blue. This is one millimetre, ten metres as well. Got a naughty little price on this for you today, my beautiful jewellery makers. A beguiling price. And I will do the antique bronze as well. And uh, so uh, we've got our DVDs as well, I'll show you. Our Gizmo Wirework Basics. Uh, DVD one, DVD two. So if you can't make it to a course or, you know, if you miss any of the demonstrations, you know, you can actually get one of our DVDs as well. Um, they're for, for naughty price on this, so should we put it towards a DVD? Yeah. Oh, that's so naughty, you little mix you, Zorro. Three pounds forty-five. There's five pounds and the rest towards basics one or why work DVD basics two. Yeah? And uh, our gizmos are still for sale on the website. This is what Rachel uses to create the coiling work that you've seen in the designs. Let's do the antique bronze. Let's do the antique bronze. Let's do the antique bronze. 
So uh, we've got the gizmos as well. If you want to ring up the free phone number, just say add a gizmo to my order, then please do, because we talk about gizmos. That's what gives you these, this twisting effect. Can you see it there? Rachel's used it in the butterfly, uh, sorry, you used it in the that rose gold pendant we looked at earlier. We, we had it in the earrings this morning, in the first kit. And um, creating coil. I mean, basically those, that one, Takes, teaches you how to use, it works step by step through how to use the coils, how to form yeah. them in the first place and then how you, can, how you can use them in certain projects and then you can develop them into your own beautiful designs yourself. Um, in addition to yeah, that. And manipulate them. You can even embed them in polymer clay. Um, Brilliant. Like yeah. £3.45! Let's get it with the chartreuse. We've got £5 off that chartreuse. So let's put that £5 towards, because that should have been £19.95, to put towards our antique bronze copper wire. All righty. Now let's have some gold. Yeah, let's have some gold. Um, yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. And then have we got a plum gold answer yet? So I'll go for the nearest. The, the definition. It's all right, darling. We've got time. Now this is genuine beautiful is this our gold plated silver darling i hate to say it wrong because we talked about vermeil we talked about plating this is gold plated silver 0.5 millimeter and you've got a whole meter so remember we talked earlier about the malleability of gold we talked earlier um, about you know its workability and its durability so you've got the gold plating has to be you know at least a minimum of 1.5 microns thick often our gold plating is 18 karat gold. it's got to be legally above 10 karat gold in um, fineness so you can very versatile you can form it into various shapes it will hold that shape gold is the most ductile of all your precious metals out of your silver and your platinum so um, very good and easy to work with on the silver without damaging it bending it form it into that jewelry it's got that malleability it's got that ductility as i said very seductive very beautiful let's give you a seductive gold rush price for a meter of the gold oh ho, ho. on the silver a whole meter less than six pounds and i know we could do one of rachel's gold wire wrapped um rings what was the thickness again darling 0 0.5 0 0.5 so maybe we have our one millimeter gold plated wire from earlier create the shank and then all the finesse wrapping around a black spinel rachel oh naughty belinda o'shea i love her it was belinda wasn't it i must talk to her later that's fantastic and what's that darling do the gizmo let's get the gizmo um we talked about it earlier while you were on the phone my darling so i know you're talking to the call center um, the gizmo, I mean, yeah, we've already done that, darling, so if we could have the code, that'd be brilliant. Sorry, your phone was going, your bat phone was going, you were talking, it's all right. She's trying to do five different things in there, my producer, I'm not telling her off. She's, she, we talked about, Rachel, I, about this gizmo work on Edition 2, and this is, this is what you use, and um, it's very, very simple, isn't it, to use, Rachel? Um, it is, it's also saves so much time, Doesn't because you it? can do it by hand, but it'll take four times or five times as long, and it would, it would really hurt your hands and wrists and things like that to do it. Time. Could I trouble you? Could I borrow that? You remember that long necklace from the first kit? It's just there to your right, immediately to your right there. And it's the giz yes, yes, just show everybody effect. And you can Thank use you, them, all the little cut off bits yeah. of. Because um, they often trim coils, use. and you can use all the little cut off ends as spacers um, to space in between the pearls, for example. Because yeah. um, you're always cutting them at short, so save all those little bits because you can use them as spacers. And then the long ends to help hide the um, wire. That's um, what we showed earlier, but yeah. the. Um, the earrings as well so look how neat that is so for spaces exactly as Rachel said that is the the gizmo wire work technique and it's wrapping around this this simple and there are instructions in there um, this this often people clamp this to the table don't they but you just you can hand you can hold it in your hand it just hand do simple calls but if you're doing turn. if you're doing complex work where you're feeding coils on and you're doing I do I plant three plat wires and then turn it on and also turn it and then also maybe three different colour wires on the same thing. You do need a bit of control yeah. so you clamp it to work surface. Make sure you've got a, like a child's cardboard bo um, book. You know, Something those, to stop it damaging your the surface. Table. Yeah. And yeah. some people actually have it um, screwed to a workbench but then you can't yeah. take it with you. So yeah, I like the fact exactly. that it's portable and I can take the clamp and yeah. work anywhere really. Brilliant. Let's get the price up. We need our coiling gizmo. The last time we had them in stock they absolutely flew out. 
Uh, so here we go, 595, totally essential to your wire work, totally essential. And at the end of the day, this is the kind of beautiful jewellery you can make with that gizmo work, you know? Beautiful, whether you're making the lengths, we've used that, you know, in our butterflies, we've used it so much today on the show and in Rachel's design. So uh, 595. Okay, let's get the DVDs up because we get the codes up. And don't worry, if it, you know, we're flying through these and you can always watch on the repeat, don't forget, for the live show at five o'clock when you see a repetition of everything we show you on the show. But the call centre, no, okay? The call centre, no. If you're saying, I'd like the Gizmo Work uh, Project DVD 2, I'd like the first one, the basics. Um, and, that, you know, they, they'll find the code for you and uh, uh, we'll do the first one, which is your starters, edition one. Let's get the code up for that. So we can enjoy these fantastic... Don't forget, a lot of these pieces, we have five pounds off. We've had wires for 3 95 here. So, you know, we're giving you the money back there to get that new area of your jewellery making up and running and enjoy it. Enjoy it. For, I mean, Rachel only started there a couple of years ago with us. And now look at her. So industrious, appearing, appearing on the TV and all sorts. That's a wonderful thing. Isn't it? You know, yeah. every day you learn something, something new. new. Yeah, exactly. Four ninety-five, and our other one is uh, the part two. It's taking you on another leap, as it were. Edition number two. We'll get the code up for that for you as well. And I think that we've got the nearest answer to my plum gold. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a little breathe and just see. Just double check the texts and choose the winner. I'll give you another teaser as well. Number eight in our fun quiz. In our fun quiz. And this relates back to what Rachel was saying earlier. This is just for fun, this, this question. Remember, we're on number eight. Number 10 is the one to text in for. Um, in total, this is going back to what Rachel said earlier, if all the gold in the world is equal to about 160,000 tonnes, if you took it all out of the earth, this is what the experts have predicted, you get 160 tonnes of the earth. That was all put together into one single gold cube. Would it cover A, an area the size of the north of England, B, 20 Olympic stadiums, C, eight football pitches, or D, the area of a tennis court. So if all the gold in the world was extracted from the Earth's crust, and there's 3.5 parts of gold per billionth of the Earth's crust, so if we collect it all together in one big cube, will it cover an A, B, C, or D for fun? A, the area of North England, B, 20 Olympic stadiums, C, eight football pitches, or D, a tennis court. There you go. That's my fun question number eight. Uh, we're going to have a quick moment to find out who got the closest answer to the plum gold. Who's going to win the Rachel Norris piece out of the third new kit? And uh, we're going to release the amethyst. We're going to release the topaz. And we've got a bundle and still got to catch up on the challenge and have our, uh, our um, final quiz question to win something from the challenge. Oh, it's all go. Don't go anywhere. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Okay, don't forget the Topaz is coming up. We're just checking to find out who is our Plum Gold winner. Um, my poor producer, she's got 
team coming out of her ears. Um, the Stopaz is not far away, okay? I hope you're enjoying the show. We're having a lot of fun. It's frantic and frenetic, but it's full on. I'll say that. Um, beautiful blue Topaz still to come. It's time to unleash the Amethyst. Proceed straight to checkout. And our winner for the Plum Gold is... Leah from Hertfordshire. Well done, Leah. Uh, so, Leah, you're going to win a piece of the Rachel, Rachel Norris jewellery from that third new kit. I'm going to pop in a scoop and whatever else I can find some goodies for you there. Well done, my darling. And the definition of plum gold is actually it's carrot gold whose actual gold content falls within specified narrow tolerances of its stated gold content. So we don't actually accept that here in the UK, it's nine carat or above, and it's not called gold. But in the USA and, and in certain countries, if it's just within the tolerance, you know, 25% leeway of what that gold is, then they'll accept it as a definition of plum gold. It's almost 10 carat, it's almost, so they'll, but here in the UK, we don't, so. Uh, anyway, that's, that was the closest definition. Well done, Leah. Let's unleash the gems of distinction, the amethyst. And then our last quiz question will be number 10. We're only on number eight. I've got a fun number nine. And we'll do that when we talk to Rachel at the end. And we'll have something from the challenge. We haven't had the correct answer for number eight. A, B, C or D. I thought it was making it easy there, but uh, OK. I'll leave that with you. Let's, get, let's concentrate on our gems of the distinction now. 55 carats of luxurious amethyst. Oh, yeah, Brazilian amethyst, no doubt, where 80% of the world's amethyst is actually sourced. We also go to the Amethystista and the Coloma regions of Africa as well. Uh, once upon a time, you had your Siberian amethyst, but now that is practically depleted. It's like your Russian Alexandrite. Um, but our amethyst from Brazil is renowned for the quality, and that's what we're interested in here in Jewelry Maker, because these are our gems of distinction. This is the quality we put in our gold, in our silver, on our sister channel. So, I mean, again, Rachel, can I trouble you for a bit of gold chain? Have you got a bit spare there, I've darling? got... Um, I'll, I'll take whatever's that little one will do. I don't want to stop you that's working. No, 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 that's fine. Just that's want fine. to show thank you, beautiful. The and luxury. the rose gold, actually. Oh, you want the rose? Yeah, and let's do that then. Both of that. Goes, yeah. <laughs> I'll do as I'm told. Uh, <laughs> rose gold, yeah. Because we've had the rose gold, we've had the yellow gold today. Yeah. We've got it's all gold. I just want to show you how beautiful Rachel and I want to show you how beautiful it looks with your rose gold. Do you remember the rose gold bundle? It had the rose gold silver chain it had the rose gold affordable brass as well the longer chain this is from that kit earlier so we've got top-notch quality look at that brilliance can you see the light through the brilliance of the rondelles there faceted wheels the purity can you see the temporary strand threaded through there it's so beautiful it's so clear use those tassels as well oh stop Stop with your gorgeousness. 55 carats of unadulterated natural, beautiful iron rich quartz with those beautiful lavender purple shades underpinned with those pretty little pinks. And uh, these graduate from three by two to four by two millimeters. And oh, look at that. Whoa, a bit of blue in there as well. Just beautiful brilliance, that inner brilliance, that inner refractivity. Because light would stop if there were inclusions in the gems. Light would stop and not come back to the eye. And if it wasn't cut well, you wouldn't get all those beautiful purples. The gem would suffer from things like what we call light extinction or uh, windows. So what we're seeing are these beautiful, ah, look at that, electric blues in there. Just underpinning there, just whoa, get the light in there, just gorgeous. Rich, put that with the pearls, those beautiful pearls we had earlier. Oh, those big 10 millimeter pearls. Yes, which I've used in the challenge, but yes, it, they will look beautiful. And some of the pearls from the kits today as well. Well, exactly, the kits with the pearls, the red gems, the, all the kits, all the kits. You've had the amethyst, mm. beautiful. Yes. You've had the, the red pearls. You know, all three kits today would be fabulous with this strand. Mm. And the smoky quartz as smoky well. Smoky quartz. Protein it up with that. Or, and, and some of the peridot and citrine really mix it up. We've had some lovely peridot, peridot green. strands. I love the green and the, the chartreuse. Mm. And then we have the... Mm. Mm. Oh, what we could create if we only had another four hours, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> and the stamina colors. to keep going. Mm. <laughs> At this rate, she's reaching for my gin now. <laughs> uh, 55 carrots. Please don't miss out. We've got a great offer for you. Indulge, indulge, and delight 
you've got your 30 day money back guarantee. Let's give you a fantastic offer today. Mix it with your gold. Let's have the high end luxury. 14.95. Yay, that's amazing, says my director. I oh, know, my producer rather. I know, it is amazing. You're right, Kimmy, it's amazing. Under 15 pounds. You pay over 15 pounds and the rest for a piece of amethyst jewelry on the high street. And yet, let's make our own. It's far more. We can create what we want. We can mix in our rose gold, our pearls, our peridots, as Rachel said, our yellow golds plated of the May chain in that a fantastic gold bundle deluxe 160 odd pieces there high-end strands low 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 affordable prices we want you to invest in your real gemstones and the luxury of how that makes you feel set it with the pure gold sumptuousness and you know have that beguiling quality that is so beautiful one day exotic hues of blue and green and brown and purple gold because apparently it exists just amazing let's do it let's oh well i've got gold jump rings here to do as well um okay gqjk89 any available it's still some availability there kim yeah so if on the repeats if you're fast as well always give us a call because somebody might not have forgotten to check out on their basket 0800 644 655 but proceed straight to track uh, to check out lost the power of speech coming it's coming it's coming it's coming oh i can't stop thinking about belinda i see this the loveliest woman in the world i'll tell you i'll let you into the secret over it she secured me a spinel because seriously i i kim and i won't get to get one i'm gonna have to split it with you aren't i i'm gonna ring you but I, I couldn't possibly accept i'm gonna have to, i'm a sort i will have will, i shall ring you belinda you are wonderful i genuinely mean that. you you the people at home thinking because we work here um we must be able to get no once it's all been at, i didn't actually know that was in the show that came down from ed when he was with freddie and because it was live on the show everything that's in stock was issued to you there and then and it all got allocated so unless something comes back into stock and i'm lucky well, I can't get my hands on it. That, even that strand I showed you was for sale, so thank you, Belinda. Isn't she lovely? People are wonderful, aren't they? But I shall, I shall see Belinda right. All righty. All righty. Three-strand bundle again. I'm thinking of the root... Oh, sorry, darling, I've got the wrong one. <laughs> I'm just unleashing bundles of beautifulness. It's all good. It's all good. Smoky Quartz Bundle. Thank you, my darling. You have said that to me several times. I still unwrapped. It's just all gorgeous to unwrap. It's been a very confusing day, isn't it? <laughs> There's been so much going on. Can you see the way mine and Rachel's hair is getting more and more frazzles? <laughs> We're like, oh, goodness me. I'm sure it started calm. And now it's like um, two for one offer. Bring it on the screen. And uh, what's that? Amelia got the question right as well, did she? Which, which, which Oh, Amelia got the answer to my fun question. Amelia, darling, well done to Amelia. It said, in, in total, if all the gold in the world, which equals about 160,000 tonnes, were extracted from the earth um, and, and actually put into a single cube, would it, would it cover A, the north of England, B, 20 Olympic stadiums, eight football pitches, or D, the area of a tennis court? Amelia got it right. D, it's only a tennis court. Come a tennis court, that is it. That mm. is it. Not very much at all. No. That was just a fun question, okay? We're on question number nine, which is just for fun. When we get to question 10, that's the one to text in for the, for the prize. Let's give you the prize winning uh, price point on two for one. 190 carats of beautiful. So these are 190 carats each. So basically you get 380. And it's the frosted and it's double drilled. I think uh, we some of Rachel were talking about this earlier. And yesterday's show, the excitement of having a double drilled piece. Who was, I was with the lovely Haley yesterday, yes. wasn't I? Yeah. It's different, isn't it? It's lovely to be able to so if you use the double drill, the, the gemstone won't flip over. So you can actually really make sure it stays where you want it Flat. to go. And you see the surface there. Yeah. You and see this, that colour, yeah. Yes. Beautiful. You can make little cro crosses with them. Oh, yeah. Um, obviously, bracelets are brilliant with them. That last just... kit had the smoky. Smoky quartz would be great with everything, mm. actually. You mentioned the pearls. The, you know, you mentioned the, the amethyst. Just, oh, mm. it's and a great foil, You can it? put two beads out, out in between. Um, if they're small enough in yeah. between, or little gold, gold, gold beads, beads yeah. two of them. 
them all the way around. In between just lovely. the slaky quartz parcels. Mm. That's beautiful, yeah. Because mm. we're doubling up with the double yes. drills. Yes, fantastic. And it can look, let's do that with all our, it's just so luxurious, isn't it? Mm. And as far as Tina's concerned as well, my lovely Tina, she, you know, it just goes with everything. And, and sometimes black can seem a bit harsh and a bit, you don't want to be that overly dramatic. You want to soften it. But the frosting with the is hues. so soft and then yeah. you can, the, it Frosty. accents other gemstones then really nice that you, that you pair with it and yeah. it softens it all, all down. I always think the frosting mm. is more sultry, more demure. Mm. It just... Mm. It's more understated. Yeah. Yes. That's the way I see it, yeah. Mm. It's beautiful. And don't get me wrong, I love a bit of barber, bling, 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 flash, flash, flash. I love a bit of that. But certain designs just lend themselves to, you know, a little bit more sophistication. I think that's where, and it's nice to see the different textures. I love to see the shine. I love to see the frosty. I love to see the crackle. I like to see the sparkle. I want a bit of bling. I want a bit of bada bing, bada bong, bada bing. Let's have uh, two for one on this fabulous offer today. If you bought them both individually, we'd be looking at £19.90. So I'm gonna round that up for, for ease. £20 basically, buying them individually from our own jewellery maker shop. I'm not quoting anybody else's price points because you would be hard pushed to find like our gems of distinction, quality amethyst like that. I would, I'd lay down the gauntlet now that you won't get better for less elsewhere. And that's what your 30 day money back guarantee is all about. But and not £20 today, two for one. You buy one, you get one free. So you buy one, you get one free. Nine ninety-five under ten pounds. So you're getting one, but you're getting the other for free. That's the crazy gold rush way we're feeling today, Kimmy girl, isn't it? So this is great to increase the store. Let's face it, those lovely wires, how beautiful! Whatever wire we're using, is that going to look with those colours? Smoky quartz, whatever colour gem you're putting it with. It's gonna look absolutely fan dabby double those. The smoky quartz does go with everything. There's no denying it. So don't do oh rose pinky pinky perky pinky. That lovely rose quartz there. That uh, that druzy quartz we had. Just beautiful, you know, and, and, and the yellow gold and the rose, it's just fantastic. So 995, two for 190 carats. So would be 1995, would be nearly 20 pounds. You're actually getting the two now for under a tenner. Last number nine, last one of the fun ones before number 10, the big, big decider. What is the weight of a gold bar? You know, like the ones they store at Fort Knox, you know, like the ones you'd see in the Italian job. That size, that's the size I'm thinking of. So I know they come in different sizes and stuff. Uh, in troy ounces. Now, a troy ounce is a unit measure of gold. It's using the old distilled water method to measure an ounce of gold. It's roughly about 31.03 la la bla uh, grams in a troy ounce. So what is the weight of a gold bar? You know, like the gold bars you'd see, like Michael Caine has in the back of the van, stored at Fort Knox. What is the weight? 100 troy ounces. B. 250 troy ounces, C, 400 troy ounces, or D, 550 troy ounces? A, B, C, or D? Just text me in for fun. 60777, that was question number nine. Be alert and ready for question number 10 to win the prize. That's just for fun. A little few gold facts in there, courtesy of the lovely Mrs. Scott Walswell. Right, the three bundle that I unleashed earlier. Now, I was just thinking of the rutile quartz. You remember those golden rutilated quartz? Some were green, some were gold, some were red. Got less than what? Oh, this, these. Less than 50 of these. So we need to be dialing now. Right, what have we got? We've got that mustard okra jasper. We've got our agate, which we call in orange, but let's face it. It's more of a terracotta red, red agate. These are eight by 16 twisty drums, beautiful luster. My fancy jaspers, 10 by 14 ovals, teals, and then my okra, golden jaspers there with their opaqueness are 12 by 16. They remind me of nuts. I don't know why. Beautiful, just gorgeous tones, those teals, those greens, those rich reds I just love those three together you know whichever way I mean, we can mix it up we don't have to use it all together I was thinking of those rutile cubes earlier they they did they do you think they go beautifully together effortlessly anyway Rach? Yeah, they do actually and the must yeah. I love the mustard mustard custards together yes um, yeah. and if you had any I'm trying to think mookite as well mookite with that love um, that 
and also with the greens you could put um, any lapis lazuli you had over that green stone oh, that you had. lapis we've seen lapis for like forever <laughs> Beautiful. It's a three-strand pack. Great ideas there from Rachel. We're bundling together. She's still working on today's challenge, don't forget. We'll have a catch-up, and you could you could win something from the challenge today if you answer my question quiz number 10, right? We're only on number nine, though. Number nine for fun. Which was, what is the weight of a gold bar in Troy ounces? A, B, C, or D? A is 100, B is 250, C is 400, D is 550. Nine pounds? That is ridiculous. That's it is ridiculous. That is as ridiculous as the spinel earlier. These are real gems. Three pounds thirty-one. Fifty. I've got fifty of these. First fifty phone callers. First fifty beautiful web buyers. Good luck, everybody, on the repeat. I don't want you to feel like we're making you miss out, but you know what it's like when we do these specialist shows. You've got to be up with a lark. You've got to be in there to win it. You've got to be. You've got to delay everything. Forget the children. Forget you've got children. They want. They can live like wild animals for four hours while we... <laughs> they have a better social life than, than we are. <laughs> we'll take them out later. Let them become feral children <laughs> while we enjoy our jewellery making. Yeah. <laughs> Look, put them in the garden. Don't, don't you know, leave them in the garden to say, I'll be back in four it's hours. It's good though. for them, all that fresh It's air, good, right? all that fresh air. You're absolutely right, Rachel, yeah. Just don't miss out on the last 20 minutes. Nine ninety-five. Now, who won the right answer? Well, one, I said it was just for fun. Who got the right answer? Bernadine, you beautiful Bernadine, what was the answer? 400 troy ounces mm -hmm. in a typical gold bar like the one stored at Fort Knox. That was question number nine, and we've got question number 10. So UUG C48, last look. I'm gonna have a quick moment. We're gonna release the topaz. We've gotta to catch up with Rachel as well challenge I'll be setting the last question in the quiz to win part of that challenge and a scoop and whatever goodies and are we releasing the jump rings we've got time to the I don't know we might have time but we we'll definitely do the topaz that beautiful two to blue topaz that high-end gems of distinction remember so competitive on these price points you will not get better for less elsewhere is coming up right after this have your phone ready have your glasses have your card have your pen ready do not miss The team here at Jewelry Maker and Jaipur are constantly pushing the boundaries. And as I'm sure you can see, just by looking at these 10 strands here, really exciting brand new cuts, brand new shapes and sizes that'll be on your screens in just a few weeks. She's amazing. I'm just saying how amazing Rachel is. She's amazing, isn't she? We just want to steal all the jewellery. To think there's people today that are going to win some of the jewellery as well. Let's unleash the topaz. I'm very excited, but I urge you, urge you, urge you to please be on the phone lines early. Now, just look at this quality. You can judge the quality of a gem. I know you can. You're very discerning. We've all got the eye to be able to judge the quality of the gem, to judge the brilliance, to judge the clarity, to judge the hue, the colour, basic colour. Just look at the brillette cut. Now, this is one of the most difficult cuts. We're in Jaipur in India, where they've passed down from generation to generation the hand-cutting techniques of being able to unlock the beauty of these fabulous gemstones. Bluer than the bluest sky on a sunny morning. The brillettes, as you can see through the temporary strand, are just threaded, drilled through the tip. And that is allowing the full body of that pear drop to really be seen because you're exposing every ounce of that gem, every atom, so we can utterly, utterly see the absolute flawless nature of the gem. Look at the faceting work. Look how it's bringing out the brilliance. Rachel, how many people are on the line there, darling? Can you see? Uh, so people know I'm not fibbing. That one, a longest wait. Oh gosh. 35 20, seconds. 26. Wait. 26 people yes. already on the line. Is that the orange box? That's the orange yes. box. Yeah. I would like, uh, I would like, I would love that strand. I would absolutely love it. it it's a dream to work with. It's a dream. It'd be a dream to work with. What would you, what would you do? Oh, I'd put it in my, my really fine wire work pieces. Um, um, the tail pieces, uh, wing pieces for a bird. Um, you know, that sort of thing. I've got a, oh, what do I think? No. Yeah, I'd put it in a, 
Anchor put it in, charms. Put it in a peacock like that. Oh, yes, know. look at this. Put it in see. a peacock and, and make it a, a ornate wire piece. A fine wire work finest, piece. Um, finest pieces. And also put it in a peacock's tail. Yeah, the teardrop, again, would work really well on the wings for that. On the wings of a, of a oh, fine oh, wire work piece. That's what I'd make, put it in. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? But the phoenix from the flames. Lots of little drops on nearing. Um, for those Beautiful. little um, topaz. Beautiful. So would, love lots that and lots of them. You just hang a piece of chain, maybe yeah. five loops of a chain. Yeah, if we go. And then um, loop little head pins off each of them. Just let them hang, little head pin loops. Depends on what wire will fit through. It might be 0.4 wire. Yeah, uh, maybe 0.4, might, be, four, might be just 2. Loop it through. Just loop it through, and then that creates the charm. Little, like a little sort of cluster of fruits. Oh, a little cluster of fruits. Mm. So I'm loving I'm just repeating what Rachel's saying because I'm <laughs> loving what she. I just want to make sure you can hear her fantastic ideas. I mean, just look at that. Look at what we could create. I mean, it's just the mind runs wild. Please don't miss out. 30 carrots of absolute excellence imagine being able to you know give the gift i mean we don't even, we can use them sparingly if we just used one on a little shepherd hook how much would you charge a pair of earrings just two of those beautiful bullets let it hang from a chain cascade down a chain uh, just create a little loop out of 0.2 or maybe 0.4 depending on what wire gauge fits through there have a few maybe five dangling from a gold plated bracelet or the rose gold plated bracelet earlier i mean on each strand, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There's got to be close to 35 gemstones. Oh, I've only just seen the price, sorry. 21, uh, 95. There's only 10 left, Rachel. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna break know, your heart today. No, it, it would be. I'd you be need a home. Belinda. I'll be at home on the phone. You need phone, to get on your phone. <laughs> you need to just dash out the studio now. I, I, I wouldn't blame you. Oh, bless her, she went so hard. Oh, look at it, let it I go. I can't even squirrel one away. Just Good luck, everyone. <laughs> Make sure you go straight to check out on the web because I assure you there is a lot of demand for this high-end strand. Mm. I've only literally just seen the price, 21 nine. I'm, I'm absolutely flabbered. Me, me gasted, well, mm. I'm flabbered, flabbergasted. Pretty sure it's all been allocated. Mm. We can just mm. look. Oh, you lucky people, you can have such fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we, can we, is it possible to just have a quick look at some of Rachel's designs? Just because just one of these you could win. Just, just have a quick, is that all right? Just a quick peek, because I'm going to give you my last question. So you could win something from this collection. Now, this is the challenge that Rachel, we will go to Rachel in a second, that Rachel's been working on. Um, just have a quick gander at one of the, uh, one of the pieces. Only sneaky peek, only sneaky <laughs> peek, Tommy, only <laughs> sneaky peek. Okay, that's another of a peek. Okay, this is the challenge. Now, Rachel's going to decide what you win. I'm going to throw in a scoop. We're going to have a good old rummage about for other goodies as well. Here is the final question on today's fun quiz. But for this question, the first person to text in, you could win something from today's challenge, okay? Which we will look at. Here is your winning question. In what American city? There's two parts. No. In what American city is the Golden Gate Bridge and what year was it finally finished being built? So where is the Golden Gate Bridge in what city and what was the year it was finally finished being built? First person to text in. Right. It is exciting. It is exciting. Um, what do you want me to do now, my beautiful? Six zero trouble seven. We're going to do the jump rings. We're going to catch up with Rachel. Got it, got it. Now, because they're all different sizes, so that's why you see me just pursing my lips and having a little look. Um, that's all right, darling. So these are my jump ring gold rush offers. I've got four sets to give you. We might get through them all. I've got big ones, small ones, but these are great. We can create chain mail. We can create loops off bracelets and, and charms. We can layer, as Rachel said earlier. Do you remember what Rachel said about layering in between gemstones as well? Giving it that gold luxury, giving it that opulence given that quality and remember we've got that gold on the silver these are gold plated silver closed jump rings seven millimeter 20 pieces we're going to give you a gold rush price oh yes so we've got the finest of that wonderful gold beautiful 
$5.95 for 20 of them. So remember the luxury you are adding to your jewellery. We are investing a little bit more in those noble precious metals. A noble precious metal has to be anti-corrosive and anti-tarnish there uh, and, and, and have that wear and tear and have that durability and have that malleability in order for it to be called a precious metal. So that's what you're investing. That's what you're you're featuring in your unique jewellery. That's what you're giving your jewellery uh, that 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 unique value as it were so uh, whatever you do make sure it's the noble metals there all righty 5.95 and then we've got our larger jump rings 20 of these sizable leap if I just do like for like you'll see why so that was the one previous these are jumping up sorry about the pun you see the difference in the size that was the one you just got we're really making a bigger leap in the size of that jump ring, yeah? See, it fits in there. Actually, it fits in there like that. Fits right in there. So, these are your nine millimeter, gold-plated silver, 20 in the pack, price slashing, giving you a gold rush, unbelievable price. These should be coming in at a mere 9.95, so 50 pence each. But today, because of the feature of the show, because you're so brilliant, we are gonna go and take money off for you for you to put towards your postage packaging or anything else you've seen on today's show. 7.95 steel. Two pounds means a lot, Rachel, doesn't it? It does. Um, you can add uh, maybe. What trying to think? Um, the tiara bands, or the tiara, bands, tiara yes. bands, or you can add it onto another. Yeah. To, to put towards buying another strand of exactly. gemstones. You think some of those wires we sold earlier for three ninety five? So that's half the price there. Also, your margins if you're selling the jewellery on are improved. Yeah. And you, you've got to remember that gold on that silver and how much mm. value that unique value that is adding. That makes you feel as well, you know. Right. One more. Yep. Yeah, we're going to go down a different route, different size now. I will go see Rachel in a moment. We'll have. Uh, the, the, the winner of the quiz, you're all winners because you've all been answering right, but the first person that takes it in the correct, correct answer to the question number 10, and then Rachel at the end will we'll have a powwow and we'll decide what it is you win out of a challenge. And uh, some scoops, we'll go rummaging for scoops and some other goodies to send our lovely, lovely uh, jewellery makers today. These are the seven millimetre. And these are open, you know, that, that's the difference, because the other ones were closed, so these are already snipped. So these have got the pre-snip, as it were. Yes. Yes. It doesn't, I mean, I don't mind, but it's just... It just uh, takes time to cut them. It does, them. and, and um, give them a, a really clean yes. cut. Yes, yeah, you have to cut them twice if you use flush cutters, one for each side. Yeah. And if you use jewellery saw, again, it's a little bit of time, so if it's it done for you, you can just get on with it. Exactly. In different uses, sometimes we want the closed ones because we're just threading through, we don't need to cut them. Mm. You know, they've all got their different uses, haven't mm. they? So these are already pre-cut, um, so we can, we, we can just separate those with our, our, our round nose, our tools, as it were. 5.95 gold plated silver remember as well and the last one quickly get that up on the screen xngp14 for that one and um there we go here we go and these are cut as well so these are the big ones the nine millimeters and these are cut as well so with the other ones weren't these are so you've already got the snip that's been done and uh, they do remain tightly, you know, if you just close those up with your pliers and just, you know, flatten them down as Rachel was doing earlier when, you know, with the actual pieces, when you're creating your spiral, that will keep that nice and snug and tight. So should be 9.95, but you know what? We're going to give you a gold rush price slash JPG P20. It's all about the savings in the gold with those gold prices rising. We've got the precious silver underneath. It's another two pounds towards something else that you'd like on the show today. 7.95, JPGP20, enjoy, enjoy. And uh, let's get those jewelry making creative juices flowing. Right, I'm gonna go see Rachel. We're gonna look at the designs. We're gonna say a big thank you. And um, I'm gonna give you the winner of our final number 10 quiz question. Rachel, the winner is Brenda, Brenda, from where? T-U-R-R-I-S-S, Turiz, Turiz. Oh, F, double F, T-U-R-R-I-S-S, 
Turif. 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 Is that, is that Turif? I, I'm not sure where in the world that is. Forgive me. Forgive my ignorance about the geography of the world, uh, but uh, that was Brenda from Turif, if I pronounced it right. Brenda answered correctly, and I know there's lots of other, but she was the first one in. The Golden Gate Bridge was built in San Francisco, and it was built in 1937. So, oh, she says tripping over some wire. Um, we're gonna decide, we're gonna send you some beautiful goodies from the challenge, and uh, here are some of the pieces that Rachel has made. Rachel, you're I've, I've stolen from the kits, basically, to, to make up the, the bracelets and um, some of the pearls, but the pearl, the big pearls are from the early bird. The early bird, yes, um, and then some of the little ones from one of the kits. I've stolen organza bags and things, but it's the <laughs> All put together, all the put together you would at home anyway, you would be taking and drawing from different different things at home. Exactly. So, but those gold findings and the rose gold findings are brilliant because you're pairing it all up with um, with the gemstones and the, and the armor thing. So that was, the look at this masterpiece, that is amazing. I can't believe you're so prolific, you've made so much in so little time uh, from scratch, you know, just amazing. So there you can really see the gizmo work coming into play there. Mm. Beautiful, create that frame. And I love these, Rachel. These are so fantastic. Isn't yeah. that beautiful? So spiral so work messy, there. Messy roses, really. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's their charm. That's what I like them. And this, those lovely gold uh, satin finished uh, findings that we've seen a few times today. We saw this uh, necklace here. This was the pink druzy from the rose gold. Super. This is the one you mm. said you rushed. I rushed, but I wanted it, yes. <laughs> Sorry. I I that's, if that's it, rushed work, I then... I teamed uh, it with a copper and the pink wire. Yeah, um, And beautiful. it's beautiful druzy. It's absolutely, it's so feminine and, and uh, pink and It's absolutely a lovely little gemstone. Really beautiful. And, and I recommend, um, if you do have got that... Uh, find this kit to put it in a ring and to really show it off as well or, or a pendant yes, like that. Yes, because it's a focal, it's a mm. centrepiece isn't it? Mm. And we discussed earlier when we were making the butterflies uh, using the organza bags and mm. creating, because you said these take a little bit like the, the wire framing of your Yes, of if you round it with wire it would take uh, all day and um, probably two days to do a rose because you'd be sitting there doing it yeah. but you could, you know, um, I don't know, it probably took me about an hour um, to make about five of um, the flowers and, um, you know, half an hour to make up the rose, really, so... That's one of the hair bands you were talking of about. We sell those in packs of five. And hopefully Rachel will be doing a course in the near future, so stay watching, because we've got the silver clay one uh, rings on Wednesday with Natalia and wire work for beginners on Tuesday. Um, but you're also going to be appearing on your show in the autumn. Tell oh, me again what it is. I'm, 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 look at I just, I, all I do is feature in one of the episodes, but it'll be a fabulous series, and it's called Paul Martin's Handmade Revolution. Paul Martin's and it's Handmade Revolution. And due to be screened on BBC Two in the autumn, and I haven't been given the dates yet, but I'll let you all know as soon as of possible. Of course, of course. We'll put it on our Facebook, we'll put it on everywhere. It's going to be a very exciting series. And this is beautiful. I love the charm here. Just simply, there's lavender amethyst that we had in our uh, in our third kit. Was it our third kit? I forget now, so long ago. Um, there's been so much in the show, I forget. I just nicked those. Kits. I thought they'd look really nice with the gold and, yeah. and all the, 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 the beautiful chain we Love get. a little cheeky pearl there. Beautiful. And that's exactly how we said, describing those charms and uh, using, just threading them through little dangles there. Absolutely beautiful. Well, my darling Rachel, you are going to pick some pieces and send them to our winner for question number 10. Um, we're obviously going to do that with all of the winners today. Yeah. We're going to pick up some scoops and whatever else we can find and send those to you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank Huge you. thank you to well, Rachel. Thank you. It's been lovely, lovely to meet you. <sighs> it's so hard. <laughs> I know, it's been a frenetic show. We've had no time to talk. It's usually a bit calmer. But there's been so much packed into it. Well done, you. Well done to the customer service centre. We're brilliant. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you'll join us for the live show tonight five till nine Rachel's gonna have a well-earned rest she's gonna have a rest I know our hair is like ah! um, uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend I'll see you tomorrow we're gonna have another show tomorrow uh, the Sunday special lots of exciting things lined up for you tomorrow as well so have a great Saturday enjoy the rest of your weekend bye bye everyone bye bye, -bye. take care and I'll see you in the morning at nine You can watch Juramaker live every day from 9 till 1 on Sky 655, Virgin 756 or Freesat 807. Get creative with Jewelrymaker. The Jewelrymaker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. 
and each week one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jury Maker account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jury making. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new jewellery maker hobby. The early bird catches the worm. Don't miss out on your chance to grab our amazing early bird offers at 9am on weekday mornings. Catch them while you can. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewellery Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the On Air Now button on the homepage where you'll be able to see all the products that have been in today's show. You can also use our quick search to narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. &P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker.